Um, I'm going to have to go ahead and sort of disagree with you there. G'day, mate. You have the manners of a goat. And you smell like a duck heat. Yeah, wait a minute now. I got something to say, too. You're short on ears and long on mouth. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. What was the question again, sir? Not these guys. The numbers all go to 11. What we've got here is failure to communicate. That doesn't make sense. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Fuck, man. Yeah. I forgot my piece of paper. I saw but Got most of it. You got it locked in, dude. Got most of it locked in, man. You read some fucking crazy movie scripts, bro. Bruh. Bruh. This is... This is fucking... This is my poor me... Poor, poor me. My... Poor me? Huh? My, my poorly... Yeah. Formulated pitch. Yes, dude. Is... Pitches. <laughs> yeah. Pitches. Is, is. is that a word? Pitch. It has to be, doesn't it? Pitches. Well, I can't plural pitch. You can. Pitches. And you just did. Yeah, pitches. <laughs> piach. <laughs> it's my piach. Piach. <laughs> I'm rich, piach. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is the poorly formulated script fucking meeting, dude. We like coming to change the fucking... Come to change the fucking movie game, dude. The universal game, man. The motherfucking film industry son. disney ain't getting rights to this shit dude cinemas are reopening soon son and this is 2027 brah yeah boy <laughs> <laughs> Piat. um yeah man this is like uh copyright too yeah so we see any shit out there this yeah. is fucking documented brah yeah they're what's all the these- date all these documents are signed by official all you people. gotta know is we're somewhere in october could have been September. Yep. Depend. You don't know. You don't exactly. But it is 2021. Yep. We're not divulging. <laughs> We're not divulging when the day is. Nah, you man. Be here but this shit's signed. So you months. take these ideas, you will get sued by either Universal, Disney, Sony, or Spinkelstein. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Probably all owned by fucking Spinkelstein. I don't know, Probably. man. <laughs> <laughs> So, have, have you got any? I got like, I got one, I got two sort of. One's, yep. One is pretty much just a slight concept and we could probably build it yeah, up. Yeah, I expand on it. Yeah. Yep. And then one is like <laughs> half a concept. And what sort of genres would you classify them? Oh. One of them would be like action comedy, yep. I reckon. Yep. And the other one, I actually don't know what genre it would uh, fall into. Really? I don't know. Because it's not like a fighting... It's not an action movie, but it's not like a drama. It's mushrooms, man. I don't know, man. It's just, it's like, it's just film, man. This is like... Represents film, dude. <laughs> it's just film, man. You know what I was listening to the other day? Like, <laughs> as soon as you said I had to go home and listen to it, yeah, it was like, yeah. uh, When I was a kid, I fell down and bumped my head. <laughs> yeah. Someone pinned me up asked me if I bumped my head. And they said, so, you, so you're going to switch him? I said, yeah. Yeah. Flip mode greatest. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> I can't. All I can do uh, is That's sick. Oh, fuck it. I'm bailing out of my head. So, so you're going to switch him? You're going to switch him? I said, on. yeah. Flip mode. Um, all right. Flip mode is the squid on. <laughs> so, my first one. What's your first movie? Pitch me, dude. My first one is like. um. I got my suit on. It's a weird comedy type shit. It's and it's more, comedy. I don't know if it's a movie. It could be more of a series. Okay. Okay. And so I've just We'll got, work it out. We'll let the execs decide yeah, man. what they think. Yep. Budgetary so, reasons. But I've got like the first setup okay. episode. And it's then the pilot. We could, just, it's just the pilot. It's the pilot. We, it could stay there. Okay. Be like this one-off thing. Yep. Or you could expand on it. But I would only think I'd only want to do a season. I don't want it to get yeah. too stupid. No, let's not get bogged down in all that shit just okay. yet. Let's just, we'll do it. <laughs> so this one yeah. is called Nice Gary. Okay. Right? Nice Gary. And just I have to give you like 30 seconds of backstory. Legend has Please it. Please do. So this, the origins of Nice Gary, the word, right? So... Me. Oh, nice, Gary. So okay, you, yeah, nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gary. Yeah, That's yeah. how you got to say it, right? Yeah. 
Do you, the origins of it is so that's what how me and we talk to each other yeah, and me yeah. and my uncle message and brother and everything yeah. that's just all night everything's nice gary yeah, whatever yeah, he yeah, says yeah, no, right? you go on the gary. funeral nice no, gary um <laughs> so so legend has it my cousin luke yep was at a cricket game i think it's cricket watching his son play cricket and there was a dad for the other team watching his son and every time his son did every anything but it could have been bend down pull his socks up yeah yeah his dad was no scary <laughs> so that's the origin what? the okay. origins yeah, of it yeah, right yeah. so so there we go so okay this show is called nice gary that was man. just to preface the pilot yeah, yeah so you know what the fuck this isn't you know yeah. whatever that's how that's we what happens on like the star wars scroll title like it says that in <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then, yeah. then the first episode oh, it could, it could <laughs> pop up yeah, that yeah. could be yeah in a galaxy dun, far far away dun, man dun, 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 66 dun, 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 dun. <laughs> um so nice gary it um so i want it so it's like a quintessential like white picket fence world yeah right everything yeah. it looks pristine yeah. it looks too good almost yep right and then i know what you're saying sort of starts off like the simpsons right so i'm going to like talk you through a couple of scenes yeah starts off like the simpsons style nice. also like not them running in but they're sitting on the couch watching tv yeah right and you have this bird's eye view i've got this all in my head man Dude, this is sick man i've got this bird's eye view it's of got the cinematography laid out quintessential neighborhood yeah right and it zooms in to this one house and it's the roof view bird's eye view still yeah and then poof, it goes into the house and it's the camera's slow and it's got this while this is happening yep. it's got the credits rolling out and it's got this music <laughs> it's got this really cool yeah, upbeat, real upbeat whistle to yep. it you know real yep. happy jolly whistle <laughs> and it's showing this neighborhood and it zooms in and then it comes into the roof right and you see this family a kid a uh, mum and a dad sitting on the lounge man they're watching the telly and it's still bird's eye view and then it the camera like sort of tilts and comes from the TV perspective. Yeah. And you're sort of looking at them face on looking at the TV. Yeah. yeah. And they're all laughing and stuff and the whistling still going. So you can't hear what they're saying or anything. Anyway. So the music fades out. Yeah. Next minute, the kid says something. You don't hear what he says. And then the music just cuts out and the mum looks at him and says, Gary. Right. And then <laughs> the camera pans around to the yeah. TV and then it's like, they're watching a game show, right? But she, when she said Gary, she said it in a way like she's telling him off. Like you could think that his name's Gary and she's yeah. like, Gary. Yeah. Right. And then it zooms <laughs> yeah. in to the TV to see what they're watching. You can't really still hear it, but they're watching some game show. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> like a buzzer one. Some, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like some a, word game. Some show. word yeah. game show. Three contestants, one host, big crowd. Right. Yep. But also before we go to the TV, what's on the TV, the mum has a red mullet. The son has a red mullet. The dad has a red mullet. <laughs> yep. Right. Red mullet. Yeah. I'm talking spiky on the top mullet yep. at the back, man. Like a uh, red head or they painted it red? No, proper red ginger head. Yep. Man. Yep. Chucky red. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Chucky we shit. We go yeah. on Chucky red. Yeah. And then we say the disclaimer. So then they go into the TV. So she's told him off. Gary. Yep. Well, you think she's told him off. Yeah. Right. And then, um, so then it pans in, then it goes, boof into the tv and you're looking at the contestants right and you haven't heard what's the questions being answered but you hear bloop, he yeah. presses yeah. yeah his buzzer and then there's three contestants but it's sort of like chest high so you can't yep. see like the score or the name on the thing and um he fuck he's got this fake me and everything goes silent and it yeah. zooms in on this one thing lights up and all contestants have red mullets yeah okay so this whole universe yeah. everyone has a red mullet just every person every single person yeah kids old people everyone has a red mullet this yeah. this is method to this right <laughs> <laughs> so everyone has a red mullet yeah yeah and then ee, and then the whole crowd goes quiet and it's just zoomed in on this contestant's face and he's a bit puzzled looking and a bit excited and, and takes a minute to say it and he goes, Gary? And then the, the camera pans around to the host and he's got a red mullet with a cue card and you can see it's the Gary game show behind yeah. him, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's yeah. holding a card. He's holding a card and, yeah. he, and he pauses for a minute for suspense 
And then he and he looks at his card, he looks at the contestant and says, No, it's scary. And then confetti comes down yeah. and fucking <laughs> it's, it's the end of the show. And then as it zooms out, this is where you see the Gary game show. Yeah, tune in next week. And then everyone's their names, Gary, Gary, Gary. Yeah. And just with the producers, Gary. <laughs> people on the fucking cameras, Gary, 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 Gary. Yeah. And you're like, what the fuck's going Script on? Script writer, Gary. Man, and then the next scene, right? I haven't really fleshed this one out, but it's at a <laughs> That was pretty fleshed out. It's dude. at a bank, right? And then yeah. So you, you're scrolling, it goes back out of the um, game show. So the camera's like, boof, boof, yeah. sort of like this through the whole thing. Yeah. So it goes boof, from there. And then it, you're at like this queue, man. This it, big, boof, yeah, to the front, yeah. to, the, to the back of a queue. Yeah. Boof, boof, <laughs> yeah. Boof, and then boof, back of the queue. Now we're at the back. Really long fucking queue. And like, yeah. where are we? And then it like pans along the queue. <laughs> Yeah. And you don't get to see the front of the queue. It's going like side view, and the queue's like a big, windy queue. And it gets to the front. They're at a bank. Yeah. Right? And there's this lady going off at the teller. She's like, Gary, Gary. Right? And the lady, the lady behind the counter just goes, Shh, and looks over to the security and goes, Gary. And yeah. then. <laughs> Calls <laughs> Gary. Then the security comes over and moves this woman, yeah. and everyone in the line's like, "Nice, Gary." <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Then you're like, "What the fuck's going on here, man?" Yeah. And then poof, the camera fucking just turns around <laughs> and flies out the bank, goes really quick past the line, and then you go out to this busy city, man, and everything looks fucking like just everything looks so normal but crispy clean, man. Yeah. And then it goes across the road to a fucking Gary's Diner, right? <laughs> and there's a guy. <laughs> yeah. There's a guy in the fucking, in his car to, at the speaker. <laughs> and you just see yeah. this, you just see this fat kid. It goes like between the dude ordering and the dude taking the order. And the dude yeah. taking the order is like. Uh, Split screen. Re yeah. Really fat. And he's like chewing and chewy, and you can just see his mullet poking out his like Hungry Jack's hat, so, yeah. right? His Gary Diner hat. Yeah. And um, the guy ordering <laughs> has a red mullet. Everyone in that line had a red mullet. Everyone in the everyone, bank had a red everyone. mullet. Everyone, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then so he's in the uh, in the fucking order and in the speaking, he's like, ah, uh, uh, one Gary, uh, two Garys, uh, minus Gary, uh, <laughs> large one, Gary. one large Gary, extra Gary. And a diet Gary. And a diet Gary. And then the, you hear the, the dude's like, the fat dude taking all his chewing, he's chewing, he goes, nice Gary. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then the camera, boof, boof, takes you out of there. <laughs> all right. Yeah, boy. And you're in a hospital. Yeah. Right? Shit. Well, you don't really know at first. You're just like this dude on a hospital bed. She's very sterile. Very sterile, man. Very white, very clean. Very clean. Well, clean before. It's even cleaner. It's cleaner, man. And then it's sort of bird's eye view again. And it's like, but this dude's all patchy hair. Yeah. Oh. Finally, someone without a fucking full-blown mullet. Yeah, what's going on here? It's He's got a, a full-blown, not patchy hair, I mean, shaved head. Like shaved. razor yeah. blade, skin head. Yeah, where's this dude's mullet? Like, where's his mullet, man? And it's all, and you, all you can hear as it zooms down into him, and then, and then it's the camera's like tilts again, like it did in the first scene, and faces this patient in the yeah. bed, and he's like sitting there with this real fucking puzzled look on his head, and then all you can hear is it's all like mumbled, yeah, 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 because he's, yeah. and then he's like, fuck, is this all in this cunt's head? And then the camera pans around and it's still real foggy. So you're seeing actually from this patient's perspective now. Yeah. And it's all foggy and you hear him, woo, woo, woo. You can't hear anything. And you can't really see the doctor either. It's just, he's all foggy, but he's looking at a clipboard. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it turns, it go, the camera goes to him, but more on the clipboard. So you don't get to see the doctor's head. And then it goes over the doctor's shoulder. Yeah. And everything's still out of focus. And it's starting to slowly come into focus now, everything. And then the clipboard is more clear and crisp. And you can see. And on there, it's just Gary. Gary, 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 Gary. boxes yeah. ticked. Gary, tick Hi, boxes. Gary, <laughs> everything yeah. is just Gary. Gaza. And then it comes up, and then you can see just the little wispy hair from the doctor, and it's like, oh my god, he's got a red mullet. Because so at first you're supposed to have the premise while well, all this is going on. Oh, this is a cool short story. This is all in this dude's head. Like, what a weird random story. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you hear the doctor. Can't you see the thing? 
And you see the dude's puzzled look on his head. And then you just see the doctor. He just says, the last box he ticks, he goes, nice, Gary. <laughs> and ticks the box. <laughs> yeah. right? And then he gets and walks up. And the dude's sitting on the bed looking hell puzzled. And then the music kicks back in. <laughs> And that's the end of the first episode. And then all, all the... So then, because see, it left you with that first little bit of, oh, man, this is all in this dude's head. Well, you're just like, what the fuck's going and on, And then in man? the end, you're like, what the, the next fuck's one. going on, man? And then the credits roll, and it's all just Gary, 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 Gary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the, dude, and the song, no. That's this, yeah. this was the song. It's The song is... Nice, Gary. <laughs> Gary, nice. With this yeah. cool whistling yeah. to it. Yeah, yeah. So that's Nice Gary, man. That's yeah. my. Um, Dude, I like Nice Gary. Where does Nice Gary lead? Don't know. Ah, oh, sick. That's what I mean. It could. He could just stay there. Or, bro, you could have. That could just be like a Black Mirror type episode. Yeah, like a man. Or you could, you could. You could. You could get a few episodes out of this, I reckon. Like. Because um, even my nephew, he's pretty funny. Like, we get into it. He goes, what about a spelling bee? I'm like, dude, that's perfect. Dude, that is funny. And we just keep thinking of all these ideas, man. There's, there's <laughs> that fucking is a funny idea. <laughs> pretty infinite <laughs> ideas on this nice yeah, Gary yeah. man. Yeah. So, But what, is it, what does it mean? Like, what's going on? Do you know what's going on eventually? Don't know. Nah, fucking who even gives a shit? It's just some weird it's fucking alternate universe, yeah. man. Where everything's fucking Gary. Fucking Gary, man. Yeah. You know, it's the Gary universe. <laughs> <laughs> nice, like, Gary. It has no underlying philosophical fucking yeah. knowledge imparting. It's just like, wow, that's fucking weird, man. It's like, I like it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I could get, hey. you know. Nice, Gary. I think it could be like a phenomenon. I can see merch and everything, man. Yeah. You know? Dude, I see that being a really good show. Um, especially that's a re that's a great first episode to confuse people. Yes, like, yes. That's such an intriguing episode. You're gonna be like, "What the fuck is happening yep. next? Like, what's going on?" It could even end with. <clears throat> I just see it. Uh, it's just like what, like it'd just be good to know what's going on. We haven't figured that out yet, obviously. No, nah, <laughs> it could. E I, I don't. I don't know. I think <laughs> what's going I on. I think that is what's going on. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> Fucking, or you could have it at the end. And so and then is it about this one bold guy going through this Gary universe? Well, no. I think that was just, he's just had an accident and they've had to shave his head for sterilization. He's had some type of operation. Maybe he could have like a scar of all staples oh, across yeah, his head. Yeah. And then you think, and then it's like, oh. And then you see. Like, so he wasn't even confused about the Gary stuff. No. He was just like coming out of. That's fucking, just to yeah. make you think. Yeah. yeah. For a minute. Oh, it was all in his head. This is some dude's weird dream where he's bumped his fucking yeah. head real hard. He's in hospital tripping out on the fucking ketamine or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. And then, but it could end too instead of like, um, maybe you never get to see the doctor and you never actually get to see everything on his notepad. You just get to see a few Garys with a few boxes and then the music kicks in and it ends. And then you're like, wow, what the fuck? And then that could set up the next episode for just more, you could have another completely random Gary story, you know, like a, a different family doing different, like it could start at a spelling bee. Gary? Yeah. Yeah. Gary? <laughs> <laughs> and they got to spell it. Someone's like, G, yeah. A, R. Uh, and then the next guy can't spell it. They're like, oh, and the next guy gets it right. Oh, no. Whoa, oh, scary. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. It could be that you could tweak yeah, yeah. that ending. There. I see it as a really cool anthology sort of episode <clears throat> or something, like a Black Mirror type of thing. Yeah, yeah. Like that Love, Death, and Robots. Yes. You know, like each episode's different. It's just like, and not everything means something. No, it doesn't need to go anything. It's anywhere. It's just like, what the fuck? It's just, it's just like this some weird idea storytelling head, thing. Man. Yeah, yeah. It's just. I like it, dude. Nice, Gary. Nice, Gary. All right. So that's. I'll, uh... I'll sign it here. I'll what? sign the executive barely, deal, yeah, man. We'll a... get it onto Netflix ASAP. Super easy. Barely an inconvenience. So what category would you put that in? Dude. Because um, I find it funny, but I don't know if Well, I'm... what sort of category is, like, what do you put Black Mirror and that sort of stuff under? It's hard to say because every episode like, can be different. Some can be, like, dramas. Some because can it's be... not all sci-fi, is Some it, can so... be, like, thrillers. Some can be, like... It's his own fucking Different genre, shit. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's just, what genre is it, Gary? 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Netflix creates a whole new genre of the Gary category. It's only a fucking one show with you. <laughs> yeah, but it's called Gary, so. No, it's Gary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that's trippy, man. Yeah. yeah. How long did that take you to come up with? That's like, that's fucking planned out. Couple of camping trips. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't just over the week. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. That's this. We've been fucking last. I think last year of camping. Okay, that makes way more sense to me. Because I was like, fuck, man. This guy just like stayed up for fucking days and wrote <laughs> nah, a fucking man. movie nah, script, nah, man. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah, man, that's fucking, that's sitting around the fire having a few beers. Yeah, that's nice, <laughs> dude. With no, with no internet connection yeah. out there and we just make movies, man. Nice, Gary. So that's, I come up with nice, Gary. Um, <laughs> 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 that was fire. Yeah. And again, copyright, dude. Hey, hey, if you could bro. take that. I don't think anyone could even write that premise down. Mate, there'll be, yeah, but there'll be some Asian one next week. Fucking yeah. oh, nice nice a Hanzo. <laughs> <laughs> Very good Hanzo. <laughs> <laughs> That's <is> fucking weird, <laughs> man. <laughs> so some Spanish El Manuelo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, Put it in whatever fucking language you want, man. <laughs> Give a fuck, man. <laughs> you know, it's just the origins. I know the origins are nice, Gary, and I thought <laughs> that just had, you know. Excellent, El you, Chapo. You could put that in the law of it somehow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, no, I see. You could have the cricket game yeah. with the kid hit it. Nice, Gary. That's how it could start. Yeah. The next episode. Right, so you think, oh, is this a continuation or is this kid, is this dad just shouting out his kid's name? Yeah. And then the, in the end, you see the scoreboard, Gary, Gary. You know, Gary versus Gary. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like oh, it. fuck, we're back here yeah. again. I just think in the second episode, if we're continuing, we need some sort of revelation or through line to keep us going. Okay, yep. I think. Yep. Unless it's just like a skit show, unless it is just like a comedy skit show. Yeah, that's sort of how I was going to keep it, man. Just yeah. a fucking... And then right at the end, I mean, maybe if you could fucking on the journey thing or something, some real philosophical cool fucking thing you could end it on. You know, or it just stays as this stupid ass fucking Gary. Yeah. And you just have all these situations. Yeah. You know? It'd just... be perfect for fucking even just YouTube skits, man. Yeah, why <laughs> wouldn't it? would be perfect. Yeah. Because yeah. then Oi. you could just have endless fucking copyright, bitch. <laughs> Piach. Buy my merch. Buy my merch. <laughs> Buy my merch. <laughs> Buy that merch. <laughs> Buy that merch. <laughs> so, um, what do you got? Dude, that was crazy. I don't even want to say one now because that was like a full fleshed out movie, dude. Okay, all right. That was like fucking. I was nice, like, Gary. Fuck, man. This guy had camera angles. He said he was directing it. <laughs> what type of cameras we're using? <laughs> fucking, I just want the say, size millimeter film we're on. You're like, what? Certain look to it, man. He's like, we're lighting it from the back and we're going to have a fucking this over Hey, here. can you fix your mullet? Hey, <laughs> yeah, your mullet's crooked. <laughs> They got their mullets cut. <laughs> More orange. Wrong orange. <laughs> I said Chucky Orange, motherfucker. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, dude, that is fucking, that's a fucking. Yeah, man. That's nice, bro. That's fucking what's going through my head. Yeah, <laughs> nice, Gary. That's what I said I'm thinking about. Yeah, dude, that's <laughs> cool, man. I don't know what you're thinking about, man. Yeah, fucking hell, man. <laughs> It's sick, dude. It's sick. Nice Gary, bro. He's got yeah. nice just walking around his house by himself. Nice Gary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it work. And if there's another <laughs> nice Gary, <laughs> fucking nice. This guy's got a fucking movie That's script. How I talk to the dice. How I train my dog. <laughs> yeah, nice Gary. He knows how to nice Gary, nice Gary, nice Gary, and nice Gary. <laughs> Nails it all. Nicest Gary you ever know. <laughs> but um, dude, the only uh, the only half idea I got, and uh, it's. I don't got camera angles. I don't That's know who's. Cool, man. I don't know who's directing My it. Other one, I don't have camera. I don't know how it's being lit. I don't know what fucking studios. I don't know the budget. <laughs> cool, I don't man. know. I don't even know how long this fucking thing goes hey, for, man. That's what we came here for. Hey, fuck yeah, dog. Fuck yeah, son. Right, but this is. It's set. Uh, it, it, this movie is based around music. Right? Okay. It's a music sort of movie. Not like it's a musical. Okay, sick. It's not a musical. I, I was, was going to say, I already hate it. No, nah, well, it's a musical then. We'll make it a whole fucking musical. There's not one bit of straight dialogue in this thing. It's just singing, bro. It's a musical. <laughs> <laughs> it's just spirit fucking fingers, this fucking whole thing, Fucking jazz man. hands yeah, everywhere, dude. man. All we're doing, bro. And it's about rainbows. Oh. Are you in? Yeah. Cool, man. It's about how you get from one side to the other, and it's just a musical. Oh, cool, man. I was thinking make it one hour and a half musical. Wow. Just one long musical. Hold on. I'm not even going to have the beat change. It's just going to be as poppy as possible. I'm going to just fucking 
Threw up in my mouth. Yeah, I think I just fucking, my soul died. <laughs> <laughs> Fell out my ass. Right. But this is, uh, this is the only thing I wasn't too sure about is it's set in the future. Cool. Right. But I don't know if it's set in like an apocalyptic type future. Okay. Or if it's like space-ish type of future. Not space, but like, I'm not going like full flying cars and shit like that. Shit's still going on, but it's in the future. It's far enough in the future to where no one remembers what this time right now was like. Okay. There's no records of it. There's just, no one has any idea. It's all just fucking guessing. It's like us with fucking dinosaur shit. We're just like, we're pretty sure there were dudes in caves or something. Like, there might have been like some dinosaurs. We really have no fucking idea. Every now and again, someone finds something and they're like, maybe there was an island over there or something. Right, so it's in that sort of thing where cool. just no one has any idea what the past is like, right? But it has to be set somewhere where there's electricity. So I don't know if it can be like apocalyptic type, but then there has to be a reason for people to not remember, or it could just be ignorance. Could be like some fucking idi idiocracy type fucking yep. thing to where like people just don't care. People have no idea what the past was like. Could it be like some China? They've just wiped it. Yes, yes, that could be. That could even work better. Because, um, I don't know, like, I don't know the premise of the movie, but, like, I don't know where it it goes after that. There's no, like, antagonist or, like, struggle for the character to go through, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, I got the premise of the movie so yeah. far. But basically, it's this one kid who's, like, it's sort of like an Indiana Jones-ish vibe, right? See. But, like, with that future element, right? Because you know how, like, Indiana Jones be finding fucking crazy archaeological shit? He'd be, like, dusting it off, whoo, blow the fucking thing, and, like, like... Crystal skull, man. And you're like, oh, this is fucking... This means that fucking there were cunts here thousands of years ago or some <laughs> shit, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right? So it's like that, but this kid fucking who, wherever he is, he falls through, the like, ruins, basically. Like, whoosh, falls through the floor. All the sand fucking comes in, just light shining in, and he's got no idea what the fuck just happened, right? But he falls into an old record shop. From like the fucking like the 80s or 90s or something like that right but it's just full of fucking records turntables like all like untouched basically sort of shit but it's all like the fucking sands come down and he's just like what the actual fuck is this place man it's like our society is buried under the fucking ground okay or something cool like and um and he's like what is this thing man and like fucking he does something bump something but the fucking power comes on in the place <laughs> Fucking good bump. It's a good bump, dude. Hey, He's done a good bump. This sounds movie this, to me. Yeah. This, this isn't series. This is movie this is, level. This is movie level shit, dude. Yeah. And you can write the whole movie just with your favorite songs, basically. Oh, dude. With just the best songs of all time. Right. Cause Follow your mind. Because the, um, the, the, it's basically him like reintroducing music to fucking society sort of thing. Right. So he like finds this turntable thing. He's like, what the fuck is this? And it's already got a record on it and it's like spinning. And he just like picks up the needle slowly and puts it on, crack on pop, and then fucking boom, some real fucking classic song. I don't know what song yet. Some fucking seventies type of fucking real fucking classic song comes on. He's like, "What the fuck?" I'm not sure if maybe they don't have music in the future or it's just like it's real different. It's just noises. It's beep, 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 whale, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> fucking whale noises. Whale noises. It's just sonar. You just. <laughs> <laughs> People are like, fuck, do you hear it? They really last, get into it. You know, last symphony by fucking. <laughs> fucking masterpiece, right? <laughs> but then uh, it's like, then I guess the movie is just him fucking, yeah, reintroducing that. But then I guess there's got to be someone who. Like, that's where it could be, like you said, maybe some China level shit to where they've wiped out the past. <laughs> so that way there's people who are trying to fucking. Control it. Yeah. The future. Yeah, and stop this kid, find out where it came from. None of the past is meant to be fucking uncovered for some reason. But all of it gets uncovered just through this fucking music. I like it. And that's all the kid cares about. He's like, I don't care that fucking, like, whatever the past was that fucking happened. He's like, man, this fucking, these jams just rock and shit, you know? <laughs> like, and then the whole, you just fucking, each scene is like a dope as fucking song and a diff from a different genre. And uh, that's that's the premise. And it's popping everyone's heads. It's popping heads, son. People are like, "What the fuck is this?" And is this dude futuristic like, footloose? <laughs> does this dude say that? Does he admit that he found it, or does he pretend that he's creating it? Um, oh, I don't know. That could work. I if he just found it at this stage. I haven't got really got that far into the script writing process. But it's super easy, barely an inconvenience. <laughs> <laughs> it could go that way. <laughs> Maybe the past was buried on purpose. intentionally. Yeah. Because 
we were getting to get to work man getting to work man we're getting to get to work man it's too many mushrooms too man many questions man yeah yeah maybe it's just like the powers that are be they've induced this war yeah Right. On like basically creativity and freedom. Yes. Like, so they've shut down anything where people can like fucking freely express themselves. Because of. like free thought is just not allowed in yeah. this fucking world and anymore. And so like everything on the telly, it's all idiocracy stuff. Yes. So, like just pushed in your face. It's all this one agenda fucking thing. And everyone thing. believes it. Yeah. Yeah. And then he finds this shit that's just fucking like 70 funk. He's like, what the f James Brown? What? Hey! Yo, whoa, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's better than... <laughs> hey! Jump back, kiss yourself. <laughs> Moving. <laughs> yeah. Grooving. Yeah. <laughs> hey! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I like it, man. What does it yeah. have a. What are we going to call it? I don't know. I don't know. Is there like some cool music jargon you could. Yeah. You know, like. Return of the SP. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that works, man. Hey, Pete Rock, you mind if we fucking... Yeah, and fucking finesse. And finesse. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Do you mind, uh, you know... We steal your name. <laughs> All we wait till them motherfuckers are dead. Yeah. Then, <laughs> there would be a there. good musical term you could use, though. Yeah, some sort of, like, a technical music jargon or something. Yeah. You know? I was going to say, I think there was a show that was called it, though, just because I love the, the artifacts. Uh, come on with the come on, get down with the get down. Uh, like the get down or something like that. But I'm pretty sure there oh. was. I think there was a show called, I think. Or it was something like that. But we'll steal it. Well, I know that picture you sent me. Or could of, just be come on with the get down. Of Rick, Mark Rebier before. Yeah. The one where he's crowd surfing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that was called How to Get the Fuck Down. Oh, was it? Seminar. Oh, nice. That's a cool fucking seminar, dude. I would go to that shit. Who's speaking at that seminar, dude? Because if you read the little article <laughs> under it, like, Mark Remy, uh, you know, he shows a crowd and he's new. How to get the fuck down seminar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> in his fucking jocks. In his stuff. undies crowd surfing the fucking <laughs> champagne. <laughs> fuck this motherfucker. So this sounds like some China shit to me. Yep. Could it be like, what uh country or part of the world is this taking place in do you see and is the whole know. world like this the whole world is like yeah i'd say been so. pushed into this everything's been buried and yeah and enough generations and times passed where that's just the new thing and no one even knows what the yeah fuck no one knows what it like, is. like you said like the, we don't know what me and you don't know about the fucking cavemen oh do we barely even know about the 1420s you yeah. know what i'm saying yeah, i don't yeah. know you know like, i don't know what was going on in the fucking 1940s yeah you know bro. what i mean it's like it's like it could even just be like that to where it's like you just don't really fucking know you yeah. don't really have records. but do you also yeah so you don't have the means yeah. to know either yeah like if you wanted to know you just there's nothing to find on it Nah, all they'd tell you is like... Bullshit. Basically. There'd be like a paragraph in a fucking thing. They'd be like, there were people that like, they were way less primitive than us or something. They like... They destroyed themselves and that's why we have to maintain this Yeah, way basically life. something like that. They were fucking They're evil dangerous. people. Yeah. And then he fucking... And then he's like, what the fuck? This is crazy. Dangerous. dangerous. Rock steady Ted the freak mode, y'all. Like, what the shit, man? Funk Dubious in here, man? Dedicated. <laughs> I didn't know we had fucking brothers Dubious in here, man. This is insane, son. Freak mode. I like my funk x faded. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I like it, man. Because the original idea just came from someone like brushing off like a turntable out the dirt, being like, what is this? Like Indiana Jones style. Okay. Being like, what the fuck is yeah. this ancient fucking thing, man? Sick. Like, what is this? Mic cords sitting there and shit. But I guess you have to find it the way you in the way you explain it for yeah. it to be able to work. Yeah. Because if you can get yeah, up Yeah, exactly. Dirt, That's where I was like, you all... need electricity here. Yeah, and it's not going to work if you pull it out of the dirt either, yeah. I would imagine. Yeah. Well, it's a movie. So yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. He went, hey, King Kong ripped a motherfucking helicopter out the <laughs> side, dog. <laughs> Vin Diesel held a helicopter back. He fucking jumped a, a, like a goddamn skyscraper. <laughs> yeah. And a, no, what did he do? He drove like a car from building to building, man. Right. On the moon. Yeah, well, that guy's talented. He's a good driver, dude. Without a space suit. Yeah. 
Yeah, but you see the car he had, it was possible. <laughs> he's a good driver, dude. dude. He's a fucking good driver, man. You ever been on the comedy cruise, bro? <laughs> um, I think you need to go on a comedy cruise, bro. Come on, dog. Come on, mate. <laughs> you obviously don't know what's possible. So you're just you, so shut down. You're not open-minded, Do man. you have a um a name? No. 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 I mean, we'll work it out. I was almost thinking like... You Production know, name is just the get down for now. Like, I know. Yep, that's sick. I know. Um, look, don't sue me. I know this has already been done and taken. <laughs> but like a cool, a, a cool name would have been like um something like the Be Kind Rewind or something. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Mm. That Yeah. Yeah, something to do with it. That's cool. But fucking that's most deaf. Movie. Yeah. And um, Jack Black. So... You know, I haven't seen that movie in a long time. No. Is it a good movie? Like, I haven't seen that since I was maybe like 12-ish or something. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like, since like, yeah. Yeah, I think it's funny. I was real young. It's stupid, but it's funny. Um, I reckon that was the one of the first times I've seen Most Deaf. That was before I like was into hip-hop. I think I was like, yeah, around 12. Okay. Like, I was just, I like Jack Black, I think. I was yeah. like, this looks funny. This should be funny. Yeah. And then, um, I can fucking barely remember the movie, though. Don't they like start remaking yeah so what happens i think you get something i don't know if he gets hit by lightning or something like that most deaf does so that no most deaf or jack black one of them fucking has some sort of electrical yeah. incident and then what happens is that uh he's conducts electricity oh, fries the movies yeah and it yeah. fucks through all the movie yeah. reels and shit so they have to and, so they have and to most deaf is looking after yeah. the shop for the weekend yeah and then Jack Black comes in and fucks it, so they have to remake it. It's sort of like, um, the, you know, them low budget fucking parodies I sent you the other day. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, like yeah. It's that. like that. Yeah, they remake the movies just them two. Yeah, so they can still send them out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's actually fucking. I like it. Yeah, cool movie. Perhaps. It is funny. It yeah. is funny, man. That was actually on the plane when we went to Thailand. I remember. Oh yeah. Fucking um. So yeah, China, man. It's got to. It's got to take. Plus. <laughs> yeah, China, dude. It's got to. Obviously, oath, uh, obviously. Yeah. Uh, uh, Turk, clearly. <laughs> what, are you uh, like some sort of Trump supporter? Or, um, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, this so movie probably won't be released in China, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, Only they'll... a few movies get through there a year. Or, or We might not make the cut. It, they'll have a dub version all be in Taiwan. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That is fucking hate. Yeah, they'll just cut every scene out of our movie that has to do with it. And then they're like, well, it's just 20 minute edit movie. So they'll make it so everything was buried in the Thai Taiwanese, buried everything. Yeah. And then China come and save the day. Yeah. That's how it'll be in their yeah. version. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you gotta, yeah, yeah. you gotta fucking put that. This non country did it. You gotta, yeah, you gotta, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> That it was them and they're not even a country so don't worry about it <laughs> they're basically just us they're an extension of us yeah, but, uh, an inferior. it's like you know when you take your shoe off you put your shoe over there <laughs> even if it's still your shoe isn't it so if you got one with dog shit on it you put it over there don't you yeah. and you put the good one here okay, okay. Shoe, yeah, so this is china <laughs> that's the taiwanese the yeah. dog shit shoe taiwanese exactly and even if the shoe ain't on your foot even if it's over at someone else's house we own that shoe still your shoe isn't it <laughs> Still your shoe. <laughs> exactly. We own that shoe. <laughs> That's my fucking shoe, dude. We made that shoe. <laughs> Shut up, shoe. <laughs> Eleven year old kid made that fucking shoe, man. <laughs> fucking uh sick. So we've got two. You got any more? Now let's get one of yours. <laughs> All right. This isn't uh this is way more rougher yeah okay well because we're gonna start to get rougher and that's fine yeah this is we can do that i've had a few drinks let's rough it up the frang is coming off <laughs> <laughs> oh we get rough i'm spitting on it <laughs> <laughs> the lube is out the window i wouldn't even spit we're getting rough like can you spit in my hand baby <laughs> all right you got a shoehorn or something <laughs> <laughs> you know, i do a goozy in my hand baby yeah that's better you yeah. feel that yeah <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> no, that's exactly it. Yeah. <laughs> if I say that's it, that's no, it. No, I meant that shit. <laughs> it's supposed to be in your ass. Um, so if I can, all right, this one is, uh, this one's called The Void. Yes. Yeah, so sick. I have a name for it. Nice. Okay, and this is a movie. Yeah. And this is like, so in this movie. Yep. On, in this earth, so we'll say it's, so in this reality... On this earth or another earth? This earth. Okay. 
I was just making sure for the people In a listening. galaxy not very far away, exactly right here. In a here. galaxy that is this one. Exactly right here. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's, fat, it's exactly right here. They measured it and they said the fat in this right here, man. So it's a bit in the future and we've, not like you as well, not, not real like flying cars and shit, but it's in the future. And yep. um, we have the ability to, not only have we cracked the code or f discovered, but in this movie, there's multiple, I don't know if it's dimensions or, uh, what's the other word of like an alternate dimension or an alternate reality? Multiverse sort multiverse. of thing. Multiverse. I don't know if this is multiverse or just alternate dimensions, yeah. right? But either way, it's an onion, right? Yeah. There's lots of layers. It's just like, uh, it's not earth, but it's like, like earth. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, we'll, we'll clarify in a minute. Okay. We'll get there. We'll have, I think you'll have more to clarify on, yeah. um, it's pretty hard to know what the fuck I'm on about because uh, I don't. Is it just uh, like how you watch fucking you, like uh, an Avengers movie? It's Earth, but it's like, you know, it's, not, it's so, not like, you know, we don't have people flying around. So it's not, you know, it's not our universe sort of thing. If you know what I'm saying, well, it's like okay, then, when you watch Godzilla, it's Earth, but it's like it's Earth with a Godzilla. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. So in this movie, um, so our Earth, our one, we, me and you inhabit yeah. is super advanced and we have uh, found other dimensions, right? Yep. And um, not only have we found them, but we can access them. But the thing is, this is the only Earth that can do it. All the other dimensions, there's not one other dimension that knows of us or even that there is other dimensions. We're so the only people that can dimension hop. Yep. Yep. And every other dimension is totally oblivious to other dimensions. Are they at the same stage of, like, society? Here we go. Advancements? This is where we get into it. <laughs> All right. So, so, okay, we've established that. We, yep. We've found dimensions we can access. Yep. Them. Multiverse now, and where we can access yep. whichever one we want. Yep. And so we've got this big company, don't know what they're called. Yep. And it's all, like, under the guise of, like, as it's good. People perceive this company yeah. as good. It reminds me of sort of like the company from fucking Aliens. Yes. Yeah. So they're doing good things. You know, they're, they are doing good things, but there's the underlying of shady yeah, shit that's cool. really at play here, right? Standard company. So I think like they're spruiking it like, um, oh, we can get re resources from these other dimensions yeah. and we can get everything and useful. And it's going to benefit so many Dude, fucking people. It's going to benefit so many yeah. people. We're going to have medical advancements you've never fucking even now, seen. Now, it gets a little bit total recall here, okay. right? But time, bit of time goes on and another sort of parent company pops up yeah. with it. Yeah. And this is for a the rival company, or n not just a branch, just branch, just a branch just for now. Yeah, <laughs> it could yeah. be they could break off it in could... a sequel. Hey, it could be China. Hey, let's hey. <laughs> hey. find, <laughs> find out. Let's find out. This movie's not getting released there either. Could be Trump, but <laughs> who knows? The one or the other. So anyway, this has been going on for a while. We know it, and there's been lots of good things. So there's been, you know, no no pushback or anything. Nothing nothing nefarious to see. No one's suspicious of this fucking company uh, uh, accessing these dimensions. And, um, so, but what happens is this other company pops up and they have the idea of, and they start running these advertisements. So, <clears throat> say me or you don't like our life, right? Just say yep. that is reality. We're not saying that's reality. Could be. Yep. Might not be. Could be. Probably is. You decide. <laughs> <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> Only in this dimension. All I do is think of other realities and movies <laughs> <laughs> so they're advertising to the uber rich who feel this way yep say like maybe you got the divorce or so so synopsis is like say you're fucking some uber rich dude and you didn't get the promotion you wanted or your, your wife divorced you they can actually this company can find the dimension where you didn't get divorced and you did get the and swap you into that one. And they can swap you into that one, yeah. right? If you're happy to go. Yep. And the thing is, too, when they swap you in, no one else knows in that new dimension. Yeah. They, they, you are that person. Yeah, they take the other guy out. They take the other guy out, bro. But what <laughs> they don't tell you is... <clears throat> <laughs> So we're under... So the world's pretty fucked up that we live in, right? Yep. 
So I can uh, I can easily get behind it's that. It's common knowledge that for you to go to the other dimension and take over yourself's life, better life, your other you dies. Your other you has to die. Yeah. Right. No, does no one knows what happens to the other you exactly? You just know that he's not going to be there. He's gone. He has to die. No, we know. And you know how he dies? We know. We know yourself has to die. Die before you can be put into that dimension because two of you can't exist in the same yep. thing, right? Otherwise, it creates all this weirdness, right? Haven't expanded on this at all. But so that's the, the premise. But what's really happening is, is actually the opposite. It's actually they cannot kill yourself in the other dimension without all these knock on effects. So they can only insert you into your new life in, in, in the other dimension and have a smooth transition if the other you actually exists. And that's where this void comes into it. So we've created this place, we'll call it the void. Yeah. So all these people that have been snatched from all these dimensions are put into the void. Yeah. Right? And the void is sort of like a simulation. So it's like... They kind of know that they've been snatched, but they don't know. They don't really know what the fuck. Like, where are we? It just what sort of feels like a on? dream all the time. Yeah, or like an alien abduction, or they don't know what's going on. But then some people in there, somehow, maybe they snatched the wrong people, like some f uber fucking smart scientist or something. So a scientist wants to replace him. Because so, yeah. his wife... Or like, when they went to snatch the guy, they just grabbed the wrong guy off the street. Some dude's like, what the fuck? Something like that could happen, man. Yeah. So then in the void... What happens is they start figuring out they're in the void, man. We're in a fucking, we've been snatched, bro. Like, and then, uh, that's it. <laughs> yeah, no, I like that. I like that. I don't really know where to go. I did have ideas written down, yeah. but I forgot the piece no, but of paper. I like that because I'd even have it to where, like, when that person gets snatched and put into the void, like, they get sort of like, you know, like, uh, Men in Black House, like they got the, the thing that like wipes your memory. Quickly. Oh, yes. Is there something like that happens to the person yep. before they get put over? Yeah, right? that's cool. And then um, they snatch the wrong guy. Yep. So that thing doesn't happen. Yes. So he's completely aware of what's going on, the process. He's just being like dragged through the thing, like, what the fuck? And then he just gets dumped into the thing. He could be thing. a twin. Yes, got that's the a good wrong idea. Twin. Yeah. And then, like, and because he has. Because like, if you're that smart, how do you get the wrong dude? Yeah. And, um,. Let's say he hasn't had the fucking boom. So he's like completely aware of the process. Most people are like unconscious as they're getting dragged over and he like sees it all. And then he ends up in the thing and he's like, what the fuck? When he wakes up, everyone else is like, what are you talking about? This is fucking, it's reality, man. Yeah. He's like, no, nah, dude. Yeah. He's like, I was pulled out the fucking sky, man. Yeah, bro. Like, this guy's crazy, dude. And the cool thing is you could have like these cool stories because like they're all from different dimensions. So like talking about the world and like, what are you talking about? He's yeah. not the president. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Morgan Freeman's the president. Yeah. Like, no, what are you talking about? Jack fucking Sparrow is yeah. the fucking president. Like, what do you mean? We pee out our buttholes, dude. <laughs> like, like, what, what are you, are you talking, talking about, about, man? You know what I mean? So, I mean, so it's seamless. I think that the dimensions have to be very, very similar. So yeah. like we No one pees out their butt. You know, okay. it's very <laughs> <laughs> It was a good idea. It was on it was the table. Idea, I wrote idea. it on the whiteboard. Remix. Executive came and wrapped it up. <laughs> Daniel, get the fuck out that, of here. That man. could be a spin-off. Yeah. Why don't you go into the comedy room, dude? We're doing serious movies. But there's like something in the vo like <laughs> and the void is a simulation and somehow they get to peel back the simulation and yeah. it's just steel and projectors yeah some truman shit yeah yeah and then like i don't know what happens from there <laughs> yeah no but something then it could just something's gonna fucking, happen man yeah. shit and then some shit goes down it pops off bar. yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i like that i like the idea of the sim coming down and shit I it's just, like i think there's a few cool rick and morty episodes where they're like trapped in a simulation okay and then it breaks down and then like in some room they gotta like break out of somewhere sort Sick. of shit and it's like um it's just, that's a cool premise, man. You can yep. have fucking anything go from there. Yeah. You, you just got to finish it off strong. I just like the idea of how, like, and maybe it's, like, not even for the Uber rich. Maybe it's just, like, uh, maybe we've, like, we've had this technology for so long and we're the only dimension that has this technology. Maybe because we stopped the other dimensions from being able to have it somehow. There you go. You know, like, yeah. Awesome, man. Love that. Yeah. We've infiltrated all the other ones to the point where we've, crippled them in ways that they yeah. don't even know they don't, they don't know they're yeah. not going to advance this way Ever. because we've made sure they can't we advance destroyed all way. the fucking dilithium crystals in Bro. their fucking hey <laughs> shit last work last week <laughs> <laughs>
um, but I, I do like the idea. Maybe we'll, is it? Do you think it should just stay with the Uber rich that have this pot thing, or is it that we're, we've been doing it for so long that you? It's like five hundred bucks, man, and you can just fucking rip. And they can. So what happens too? You don't just get put in a random dimension. It's like you have a full, proper. Um, uh, what would you call it? Like a, a negotiation type. Yeah. Fuck it. So you go to this place, who's the yeah. business, and you have a proper. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. You have to sign like this intense waiver sort of thing. Intense waiver, and it takes weeks. Like yeah. it's not just oh, we just send it. It, it takes like of, of evaluation. It's like what don't you like about your life yes, in this dimension? Yes. And so these people don't do it because it's such a big process. It's yes, like it's yeah. a real like end of the line type of thing. Yeah, or something. That's why you're not coming back. Yeah, that's why it's not like just everyone's doing it. Yeah, it's sort of like uh, declaring bankruptcy. Yes. You know, like it's like end of the line. Yeah. You have to go through this process and it's sort of like credit rating. If you don't have the right fucking. And they're like, well. They're like, yeah, no, nah, you can't, you know, you're not eligible. You can either go bankrupt and we take all your assets or we can just find, we can find you another dimension. You're only eligible for, eligible for the lowest dimension. You're only lower, but you're not bankrupt. Yeah. So. Yeah. But you can go to the Do dimension. Do you want to be a factory worker? Where you, exactly. Where you're a plumber or you could go to the dimension where no, you're fucking. I hate you know, plumbing, man. Fuck, man. But I'm not bankrupt. Yeah. Does my wife still have big tits? All oh, right, okay. Okay, I'll plumb. And the cool thing <laughs> is too, like this is like in my head, when you go into like when you fuck your wife in the alternate dimension, she has no idea. Yeah, the alternate wife. She's like, oh, she got oh, good. Fuck, new moves. What have you been watching? <laughs> <laughs> and your wife is like pretty much the same, maybe just different eye color. Yeah, What's or exactly eye? the same, just does a different job. Yeah. Okay. You know, because yeah. I want it real similar. Yeah. Real similar. So you can have these seamless transitions. And then, like, the watcher at some point doesn't even know what dimension, like, us, the viewer. Yeah. Like, oh, is he in that? We're, we're, yeah, we're flashing. What dimension both. is he fucking in? Because it's all so similar. Westworld style. We're like, what timeline is this right yes. now? Yes. Is this Bernard from back yes. then? Or in the yeah, two, yeah. In I the want future. some of that yeah. shit because I reckon there's room yeah. for that to happen. What fucking dimension? Which Tracy is this, man? But I like it how it's just cool. That, and there's this, in our world, there's just ads everywhere. Hate yeah. your life. Yeah. You know, got a small dick. <laughs> have a big one <laughs> in another dimension <laughs> be the best you you can be so, yes that sort of shit yeah. that's what they'd be everywhere yeah. be the best you can be yeah are you exist with abs right now yeah. you know like are you exist this fucking just a fucking are you Calvin a, Klein model are you a loser in this dimension <laughs> yeah you don't have to be you don't have to be <laughs> and then maybe like there's got to be something too where like and I want another nefarious element where, like, there's there's alternative motives here. Like, yeah, they can find you another dimension. And, yeah, like, you know that they have to kill your you, but you don't really care because it's you and you're replacing you. But you don't know that they're not really killing you and they're putting them in the void. But also, I think there's got to be an element of they get something extract or get something out of the people they're putting in the new dimension yeah so say i want to change something there's something to benefit them as well to doing it mate. yeah definitely you know there has to be something to fair that we don't know and i reckon that's why they help choose which dimension to put you into yes that's, so like, because there we go. yeah they get something benefit off the whatever type of person it is yes. or something you're gonna vote a certain whatever way it may or be or, or something yeah something so in every dimension because they have to be getting something out they, of it they have to be getting something not out of it. just not money. just money yeah <laughs> yeah yes yeah. We, it's a company here that we're dealing with come company. on bro <laughs> yeah evil mac is this man <laughs> yeah bro come on Thor. fucking hell bro i like that though dude the Void. I reckon it's a movie. It's a movie. I reckon it's a movie. You could make that, a, like, if HBO wants to pick that up, I reckon HBO could do something good with that. they got a good budget. I think it's a cool idea. I think it is. And it's not, um, I can't think of anything really that's done that. Nah, not like that. You know? Nah. Not the same. <laughs> you can <laughs> Hey, look, man. <laughs> But heck, could you even make an original, original movie this, these days, though? Like, where it, nothing has ever happened in another movie. I think because, uh, you know, it's Devil's Advocate. That's almost like saying to me, can you think of an original rhyme? All the right words have been rhymed. Yeah, but you can just put them in different orders, I guess, or whatever. But, like... You know, I reckon every single movie you could think, you'd be like, oh, well, that's happened in another movie. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Like someone could say, oh, um, this void sounds a lot like the matrix that they get put into. And I would say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like, you could always be like, this dude's got a gun. And you'd be like, well, fucking this guy in that movie had a gun. And you're like, <laughs> fuck, man. Like, shit. She got her tits out. <laughs> she had three. So, uh, uh, Total Recall. We upped it. You haven't seen Total Recall? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. We upped it. It's not the same, man. She had three titties. Man. We upped it. Okay, we'll we'll do four. <laughs> <laughs> Just for make her a big titty. So when um, Just make all the bitch one big titty. That's what they should have said. Imagine being on the set when um, Chappelle was doing when the chicks get their titties. Go, make me wish I had four hands. <laughs> yeah, go four thumbs down. Total recall bite, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Cold blooded. Come on, get to the chopper, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's a good movie, man. It's a good movie. Sounds like a fucking big budget. <laughs> it's big budget it. for that movie, dude. <laughs> does, a lot of CGI in that you one. Can't skim. Nah, man. like that. Now we need a fucking. We need some. But then I don't know. I don't know. That. Does there like? What is it you would have to CGI? I mean, like, there would have to be a little bit, but I mean, most of it is just, like, mind fuck shit where it's like, what fucking world are we in at the minute? Yeah. It's just the jumping between dimensions. Do you have to have some sort of visual element to represent we're going to a different dimension? That way the story, the people, like, the viewers actually know we're in another dimension. Mm. And then this void, it's just how do you get there? What does it look like? Well, I think for the void for ages is just. I think you need some. I think you need some CGI. Oh, definitely void. some. But I think, like in my head, the void was going to be like. You don't really know what the void is and what's going on in the void to yep. the sort of the end of the movie. Yep. And you don't really know what what it is and what's going on there. You know, and you're just like, who are these people in this fucking thing? How come he's there? I thought he's in that dimension. How is he talking yeah. to him? In the end, like, oh my god! Yeah, they're not killing him at all. Did he already go to the shop? Did he already go to the <laughs> shop? We already seen this, and it's slightly different. Same sort of scene, slightly different because it's in a different dimension. You're like, didn't we already see this scene? You're yep. like, but he didn't go that way. He went that way, bro. In one of them, he turns the TV on, and he wouldn't believe it. <laughs> no, <Nice>, scary. <laughs> <Nice>, scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. What the fuck? <laughs> what the crossover? <laughs> <laughs> it's linked, man. Hey, he put the, did you see that Easter egg? Yeah, in there, man? <laughs> Easter egg. He put the Easter eggs in there, I'm man. I'm the creator, it's man. Set in the same universe, man. <laughs> that means Gary is a show. That's on in the void universe, man. <laughs> We're doing YouTube breakdowns. <laughs> Fucking super easy. Man. Yeah, it's barely an inconvenience, dude. And how many good looking people do we have in these movies? <laughs> yeah, yeah, all just, of them. Just because. Yeah. Why? All of them. <laughs> only, only good looking people. All of them. All of them. Look, Gary is a fucking spunk, man. Just get all the good looking people. <laughs> Bring them all down. <laughs> I got brown bags, blood supporters for everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just love how it's silly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there's the void, man. I know, like, there's <clears throat> lots of room for expansion, lots of room. That was for... still pretty fleshed out for an idea. I like that. You know, it's, it's rough, but, like, that's the premise. I think the premise is pretty flesh. All you need to do is hand that to a scriptwriter, and they'll go, crazy with that i reckon yeah we just they'll fill in all the shit we got the find, dialogues and we got to find the right script writers man we do who we would do. you I, who, I don't even know like who would you get to make something like that writer. would you get like a tarantino or would you get like a whoever did the matrix no i say we do it dude <laughs> <laughs> you no, I, mean to the money. I mean to help us uh, do we need it? Uh, I guess. Uh. <laughs> someone we oversee. Well, dude, you already someone, had... Someone we oversee. You already had the camera angles down, man. Yeah, I guess you so. You got the cinematography. Yeah. You know, like, you're directing this thing. But right? that was Gary. Okay, know? well, you can... You and directed Gary, I think. You can do that. I'll co-direct, like, if you... I'm like, oh, maybe let's add some lighting on this angle or something, <laughs> you know? <laughs> where, where? I'm like, turn the mics up. Is when everyone... they transport... Yeah. You hear old daddy go, wet, wet. <laughs> Contributed. No, you're welcome, guys. You're welcome. 
show wouldn't have had the same time no, without no, that. It no, would have been a different show. I've added at least 10 more uh, African-American viewers. Man. Yeah, when people think back to the show, that's what they remember. <laughs> hey, <wait>. It <laughs> <laughs> really diversified <laughs> our audience, bro. It was fucking nice. <laughs> but I'm just thinking in general, like for a movie like that and a movie like your... Like your yeah, I don't know. Be kind, rewind. Esque. Uh, what were you? What, what was your name? The name of it? Uh, the get down. Maybe, the get down. Right? So the get down. That would be. It would be a cool Tarantino thing. We're just thinking about how he uses music. You could um, do that. But um, I want to pick the music. Mm -hmm. I'll take some. You know, I'll let you give me some uh, suggestions, Tarantino. Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. That's that's sort of what Quentin, I meant. You can give me some suggestions, but like they're um understudy <laughs> yeah they're like uh just for reference basically. understudy that's suicidal <laughs> fuck that shit supernatural is, is your, your idol, idol. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah man i reckon they're our understudy because we're the overlord overseer, they're basically obviously. just like you're not bastardizing my shit no yeah we're not hollow hollywoodizing this if, if i don't like movie. something it's yeah. not going in it's not going in bro that's, I I mean, like that's why someone... i'm picking the musics <laughs> yes. I'm picking the music dog. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. yeah it's well, going in there. If that seems to be an extremely integral part yeah. of that movie, yeah. So it doesn't really fucking matter who we get then. Nah. <laughs> <doesn't matter. laughs> nah. Pete Rock. <laughs> if you get Pete Rock to do this shit, son. <laughs> Pete Rock and premiere, dude. It's gonna be sick, son. Your Rezo on the board, you can edit the movie. Mark Rebier on the keys. <laughs> yeah, man. dude, he'll score the whole thing. Right. I'll let you pick them. I'll let you pick the keys. I'll let you pick that shit. You can pick the keys, man. Yeah. That's it. Hey, look. So we've got Gary, Get Down, The Void. Yep. Yet another one. This one is literally just a premise. I have no idea what happens in the movie. I don't even know how this movie takes place. Cool. Excellent. But I just reckon it'd be sick to have, like, a comedy movie. I haven't seen one in a while. Um, almost like, just for reference, like a Bill and Ted type of fucking All right, thing. Like, so something that's just real stupid, you know what I'm I saying? I love that movie, Just man. a dumb comedy. I which love Bill like, and Ted. Pretty much like you and me are the sort of characters, you know <gasps> what I'm saying? Dead. Or even like, like yeah, I, it'd just be fucking... Dead. Dead, man. <laughs> but the premise is basically just... <laughs> Two fucking dudes like like that type of character. You know what I mean when I say that type of movie um, that gets sucked into an old kung fu film. All right. Like an old Shaw Brothers type of film <laughs> where like all the fighting that takes place is like real choreographed and fucking yep. the blood looks fake. Like yeah. it's just everything. But they're just like drawn into that fucking world and they're like, dude, like what the fuck's going on, man? And they just got to like fucking run around this fucking like kung fu fucking world and shit. And then it's just like, where's the princess, dude? Yeah, it's all like so stupid, man. But like dudes come out like doing like crazy like fucking kung fu tiger stances and shit. And they're like, whoa, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but then somehow they like beat these guys because like it's so choreographed and shit. Like just, um, I just thought it'd be fucking, you could write some funny fucking yeah. scenes there somewhere. Sick, man. man. I don't know how they get sucked into an old movie. Could be good, dude. The dragon. <laughs> <laughs> dude, enter the dragon. Come <laughs> <laughs> <Kung> through, <Fu>, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Yeah. You got a viewer, man. I'm like, I like that shit, shit right? Man. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I just, you can fucking, you can give that to a script writer. Give that to a comedian, <laughs> man, and just be like, fucking write some funny shit, dude. <laughs> Yeah, it's so stupid that I'm. Yeah, fucking, that's what I mean. It's so like dumb, the man. The ghost of Gary, I love it. Yeah, man. It's yeah. So fucking. It's weird. It's because like I think it just sets up perfectly to where nothing has to make sense. Nah. Anything stupid can take place. Yeah. And no logic needs to follow at all. Nah, sick. No one would ever be saying, "How did that happen?" No, nah, that's how. That's how I want Gary. Yeah. Exactly like that. Yeah. It's it just, just doesn't. None of it has to mean or make anything. Dumb thing after fucking dumb thing. It's man. just injecting as much as you can into it. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So are these dudes like, um, how old are these dudes? I don't know. I haven't really thought about that, but they're youngish. They're not like teenagers. And they're not like super buff. No, no way. They're like bro. stoner dudes. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. Hey, imagine, could it all start with a mushroom trip? Yeah. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Say like they meet this, like they they know they're mushrooms, but they fucking, 
bump into this dude or they go to on a travel or something and they're like, meet some shady say, cunt in a, in a fucking alley. He's yeah. like, hey, I have a must room. And yeah, like, I'm going to say one of the dudes is a major Kung Fu fan. Oh, yes. So okay. he's like the guy when you're in this situation, be like, dude, that's fucking like, he's doing the Buddha palm or some shit. Yeah. He can like sort of direct him through the thing. Yeah. And be like, man, nah, like you ever Duck. seen, you seen these movies, man? Like, and be like, the Shaolin guy comes out and we got to go rescue the fucking thing, get the <laughs> scroll or some shit. And then fucking, he's like, what? All right, man. Yeah, they could be in like Amsterdam and a dude like pulls him into a, you like mushroom? Yeah. <laughs> Try this mushroom. <laughs> a mushroom kick your ass. <laughs> and then they're like, dude. Yeah, all right, dude. <laughs> all right. And then dude. maybe the whole thing is like, that's how it starts. And so you're just like, this is a mushroom trip. But once it ends at the end, there's something trippy to where like something that he had on or something that happened inside the mushroom trip it is real. If you know oh, what yep, Like sick. he's holding something, like whether it be like a fucking dagger or a scroll that was like inside <laughs> the thing after they'll come out of it. And he's like, how do I have this fucking actual piece of thing from he's fucking... Like, dead. Dead. And that's how it ends. Credits. Yeah. He's you like... See the thing. He looks at his He's mate. like, he's holding the medallion or whatever. He's fucking... He's like, whoa. Dead. Dead. And the other guy's like, whoa. It could put oh that's so it could be like they could be come out of their mushroom trip right yeah, and they're yeah. sitting there like whoa that was crazy dude and then they just have like a bit of a random talk and then he's like feeling in his pocket yeah yeah exactly that sort of shit something out and then they both and it was like the it. item that was fucking the, the movie I, the was the scroll about, like, yeah yeah it was like the fucking something like, the princess had the princess's like, panties yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then they just look yes. at each other dude. dude. <laughs> <laughs> Credits yeah, roll. Yeah. And then you're like, was it was it real? What, what the fuck, fuck happened? Man? Yeah. Did that happen? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> but then you can also have sequels that are in like different movie type universes or something like that, you know, like old spaghetti western, sort of like how um the Back to the Future was set, you know, oh, like dude. in the Westerns. You could just like go anywhere with it man. if you have these two iconic sort of characters. Bye. <laughs> it's just always some weird mushroom It's just always trip dumb as fuck. Yeah, it's something. Yeah, yeah. It's just cactus juice, yeah. man. The next movie, you know, they're just like on a plane going somewhere. He's just a long plane ride, man. You're on He's like, what ceremony, do we got, man. dude, man? And then it's just fucking, yeah, they take, then the movie takes place and they're fucking like landing somewhere. <laughs> We're going to Peru, dude. <laughs> oh, what for, man? You know, <laughs> man. Yeah, man. You know. You want to see the show? Coming, man. <laughs> He's living in a jungle, man. <laughs> <laughs> then it's like predator shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was like a chameleon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get to the chopper. I like that one, man. Yeah, cool. That could be the movie of the day. <laughs> Bro, fucking hell, man. All these cunts. <laughs> Repeating all this shit. Oh, dude, we've already come up with fucking like four hits. Four bro. originals. Four of the best movies of the year. Right. <laughs> Easy. Ranked. Of the decade. 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh. Audience score. <laughs> No, I want a zero on there because yeah. I don't agree with them cunts. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you know how there's the critic one and the audience oh, one? Oh, that's right. And the critics. Zero on the critics and 100% on the audiences. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Our audience score, you're like, what the fuck? Critics said it was fucking the worst show ever, and the audience loves this fucking thing, How are thing, they consistently man. wrong? Yeah. How are they consistently <laughs> wrong? It's almost like it's literally on purpose. Like, let's see what we think, and we'll just say the opposite. Because it doesn't make sense to me. None. It doesn't make sense when every movie critic doesn't have the same opinion as the, like, the populace of the planet. Well, the populace are the people, like, indulging and watching the movie. If they all say it's good, the critics, what does that mean? What is a critic anyway? I don't know. How, how do you become, become a certified critic? I mean, do you have to have at least made a short film? I literally don't know. If do you, you have to know how, how to work a camera? Do you know how to have to write a script? I mean, how, what qualifies... As yeah. a critic, I I've just seen heaps of movies. I don't know if you need it's any cool. credentials. So is everyone. Well, maybe critics. Aren't we all critics? You know what critics might be? Just failed filmmakers. That's what I'm So Okay. So they have dabbled then, maybe. I'd say so. Why would you want to be a movie critic? If you, if you want to be a movie critic, to me, means you're passionate in films and movies to want to critique them. Which means you probably went through some sort of like film school or something. I'm assuming with the purpose not to critique movies, but to make them. Yeah. And then um, maybe it's sort of just like, you know how when they say, 
like scientists that don't make it become like science teachers or whatever yeah shit. you know like and like pe teachers are like fucking so yeah, just some yeah, guy that didn't yeah, make it in whatever I he wanted to do team, man. yeah i didn't make it man i'd fucking like bench me man i'll just teach the kids <laughs> <laughs> and pretend yeah everyone pick up the hula hoop hey, i'll smash these kids yeah i'll uh, fuck them up dude man i'll fucking reject it son <laughs> yeah <laughs> Get that weak shit out of yeah. here, boy. That weak cross dribble. Slapping them down. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Pick it up, Tim. <laughs> Double dribble, motherfucker. I know you're 10. Yeah. I know you're 10. Tie your shoes up, motherfucker. <laughs> Mom didn't teach you. That reminds you me. You're in the big leagues now. Yeah, that reminds me of the sick, the funny fucking Chappelle <laughs> skit where he's playing the fucking. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, the the, the the NBA make, against it was the like kid. the Make a Wish Foundation. Yeah. The kid's like, cancer or in something in your face he's like oh swear pick the sticks up kid pick him up pick him up what you doing what you doing <laughs> and then he fucking just gets out of there kids like fucking hated half baked anyway so if that's the case you have to be like have dabbled i don't know is that what makes me like um a ferocious porn critic because i made like you've dabbled endless home porns you i think that meets the criteria like, so, am I the Spinkelstein or fucking... Seems that way. You porn? I think so. Yeah. You could probably span different websites too. So, does my thumbs up on a video hold more weight? It's definitely... It holds a bit of credit, dude. Is that worth five... Is my thumbs up worth multiple? Seems that way. I just comment and let them know. Well, how many times have you filmed yourself putting your finger in a butthole? Yeah. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, well that's what we're getting at here come on man like tell me do you have the credentials leave a comment is what <laughs> leave a, on the number how many times <laughs> where you film from what angle the lighting lighting music in the background yeah type of camera i really like to know that if there was like a filter setting sometimes or if it was like a night mode what finger definitely if the video doesn't already tell that i think your video is probably a bad video was you it, should be able to work that out was it well received how deep <laughs> knuckle one <laughs> knuckle two there's measurement like you that's how you measure which it which knuckle were you into yeah on which finger they the knuckle started was it a surprise finger <laughs> was it more than one <laughs> <laughs> did she tell you get the fuck out <laughs> <laughs> yeah you get the fuck what are you doing back there <laughs> <laughs> did you have one more movie idea though <laughs> <laughs> I used to have this sick one It's like Go on Do it <laughs> And then <laughs> It'd just be oh. the tippy And then she'd be <laughs> The tippy dude This is the exact word Get out <laughs> Get out <laughs> What the fuck You invited me in man what Do the what the You invited me in bro <laughs> You opened the door What son. the fuck man You opened the door Told me to wipe my feet <laughs> Red man What the fuck <laughs> What the fuck Yo yo Red man <laughs> <laughs> I think not. So I got. To <laughs> I um got one more super loose, not really much concept. I mean, definitely concept, but not fleshed out. Yeah. So this one sort of is like um is raw premise here, baby. Raw premise, man. And this is like um just add a finger. This is <laughs> this, this is like we um, might be pulling out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going all the way. <laughs> we not, might not be getting this thing out. We might lose this fucking we thing. Probably will not be friends after this. Did I have a ring on there? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um, shouldn't have ghosted her. Um, we got it back. Fucking. Uh, so this one sort of goes with what's happening now okay. in society. I see us being really warded, nerfed down. Like if you go back, how tough is an old grandpa oh tough motherfucker you know what i mean yeah. you know that grandpa strength yeah. that farmer you look at that old you look at your pop's hands yeah they're fucking huge yeah you have you killed people like that this? isn't a finger that goes <laughs> no you don't put them on uninvited like bro, man no, yeah like yeah that causes medical she issues she needs to prepare for that yeah man. there's like weeks of preparation yeah, that yeah. go into that weekly you know yeah. butt plugs all sorts of things we gotta like you have to purge stretch basically. out to that it's like you know when people stretch their earlobe, yeah. you they don't, don't just go, go you don't go the bigger, you no. can't, it doesn't work no, like no, that. No, 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 no. Amateur. Come on, guys. Amateur. We work out there. Baby steps. Hey, not an animal. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> so this one is sort of what's happening here, right? Now, 
what happened in in the world was <clears throat> we just got so in the name of safety yeah it just got to the point where you're not allowed to do anything you're not yeah. allowed to ride a bike anything yeah you can't you can barely go out and get your mail you but it's like, too dangerous yeah. like that's what you're told it's yeah. just not safe so we are really useless so the movies <laughs> <laughs> so We've really devolved, right? Yeah, yeah. So the movie sort of starts off as this kid, he gets this can of Coke. He buys this can of Coke and they're out and about in the shops. Yep. And he buys this Coke and he's like, he's trying to open it. He can't yep. open the can of Coke. He's like trying to do it from the side. He doesn't oh, even just know where to no, do it from. No yeah. idea. He passes it to it's like he's putting the triangle in the square. He's he's like, exactly. You know, yeah. He's not in the isosceles triangle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? Then he's like, his mum's looking at him. She's like puzzled. And then he passes her the can. And she's like, Timmy, you know I can't. You know we have to wait till we get home and use the can opener machine. So there's like a machine and an app for everything yeah. in this future, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. They can't even open a can of Coke without going and putting it on the machine and pressing the button. Then yeah. The, psh, psh, yeah. The, the fucking thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? yeah. So and we're like, why are they still making cans like this? <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck did they build a machine to open the can? <laughs> None of this adds up. None of it makes sense, man. But we've devolved. That that machine come from a few generations before. So I don't even think anyone could maintain this machine if it broke down. Yeah. So it gets to the point where we're like that. Can't even open a can of Coke, yep. right? Anyway, some people start to fucking... I don't know where these people come from either. But somehow there's this demographic, this sort of group of people who are like, fuck this. Like, they've been against it the whole time. Yeah, yeah. They're up on their history. Yeah. And they're the ones been trying to tell people and yeah. everything. So they start this movement, man. Yeah. And, and it, they're, like, they're like the hippies almost. Yeah, like yeah. Shit, All right. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. And so they, um, and the presidents of countries are just really easy. Like, you know how like me or you couldn't just go talk to a president yeah, Well, yeah, in this yeah. reality, you can, that's how it's like, okay. Yeah. It's like Terry Crews in fucking, in idiocracy. Yes. Yes. Yeah, he's like doing like tinny yes. and shit. He's like walking up on stage. So these people go and infiltrate this president dude. who's making all the rules, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. And he's a one world just leader. Fucking Don't know. Stupid motherfucker. So they get. Guy putting triangles in squares. Yeah. Man, they trick desk. him. So parent, so uh, backstory. The way we got to not being open a can, not being able, is through restrictions and safety measures, yeah, right? Yeah. So they go. The second one person opened the can and like broke their nail. They had to change the rule. For got a bit in their eye. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Bubble. New legislation. Yeah. Wait. What will ban cans? Yeah. Or you have to use the machine to open them. Yeah. But it's not safe. You can't leave the house without steel caps because you can't like drop things on your toes. Bro. Dude, yeah. I don't even know if you can leave your house. But, so we're so retarded. Yeah. Can't even ride a bike, nothing, because you haven't in generations. Yeah. Anyway, but these hippies can. They can do all the old shit. They can open the can, yeah. all that shit. They can open the can. They're walking around barefoot. People are like, what the fuck? People are like, I've never seen anyone open a can like that. Ever. Like, that guy's a freak. Who showed you how to do It's that? like doing a Rubik's Cube. Right. Like, like, not many people can do that. This guy is fucking, he must have an IQ of 20, man. Yeah. You're a genius. Yeah. So they go, <laughs> they go and infiltrate. It's at least 20, man. The president. He's pushing 20. And they trick the president into reversing. I don't know how, but somehow he's so stupid. They pretend. Yeah. Trick that him. sounds like a funny scene, though. They, yeah. Yeah. So they reverse all these restrictions. So it's gone from in one fucking stroke of a pen it goes from the most heavily restricted governed world you've ever seen not allowed to do anything <laughs> yeah. to yeah. absolutely anything <laughs> this is a great idea yeah anything and goes. everyone's just stupid as everyone's fuck, stupid man. as fuck except for these hippies yeah. man but these hippies are like also they're like trying to they're always like running seminars and trying to re educate people yeah, yeah, and yeah, shit yeah. right and they're interbreeding with them <gasps> and shit <laughs> yeah like they're just different species <laughs> yeah man they're <laughs> trying to get like yeah. the majority of humans back which aren't make people over 20 iq again but dude this is where the, f the kicker happens this but is i reckon even just sorry before then there's so many good scenes you can get out of um the world reopening to that sort of oh, stuff and man. just full of dumb people Bro. Right? like just doing dumb yeah. shit like even just walking you know how you got like revolving doors yes like just a whole like line of cunts that can't figure it out they can't yes. get into the yeah that's where we're at like, bro that's this is the world yeah, yeah. this is the world that's people what, like yeah. that's what i'm going for yeah I'm going for exactly that. Yeah. Now, we go from <laughs> that to 
everything being lifted and reversed. Yeah. And everyone's fucking, what the fuck? Yeah. But just lines at revolving doors, people can't get through, cunts can't work, elevators and fucking. But uh, because nothing go, no, there's no rules anymore, right? None. They trick this cunt. There's not a rule inside, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You don't even have to have a license to fly a plane, right? <laughs> so it gets so insane. But after a few generations of no fucking restrictions, like people are fucking riding their bike, Jumping off Mount Kosciuszko with a parachute, man. Yeah. You know, like they're doing that shit. They're doing crazy And they shit. do that for a few generations to the point where not only do we come out of the devolve, we evolve into almost this super type human <laughs> where we fucking can yeah, really yeah. do anything. Way, way, way more than what me and you can do now. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I that's like sort that. of the premise of the movie. We go from being this fucking Neanderthal man, induced Neanderthal yeah. man, in the name of safety, to this fucking superhuman. And that might have to take, that might be a second movie. I was going to say, is that the premise of the show or is it like time skip? Do you get a time skip and then you're just in the future and everyone's fucking I crazy. think you get a time skip. Yeah. You get like a sort of a sped up. Yeah. You see people working things yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. People like scratching their head at the revolver door and so like a someone going lapse. through and working out. He's like, oh, he's still okay. And then they follow yeah. and then, you know, then yeah, they have yeah. kids and yeah. like, and they have kids. And One guy jumps off a built like off of a fucking a cliff without Splat. a parachute and they all watch him. They're like, huh. <laughs> and then the next guy does it with the parachute yeah. and they're all like, oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> and then everyone puts parachutes on. Okay. And then to the point where we're just doing the craziest shit, but pulling it off. Yeah. Because there's no restrict. We're evolving yeah. again. Yeah. And it's like we evolved past what we originally even were before these decru de yeah. restrictions were put in place. Yeah, yeah. It's like a local man dro like flies his car to the moon or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. Yeah, so he put a rocket on the, yeah, yeah. the fucking moon. And it's just a picture of him in the, in the newspaper. Yeah, he's got a snorkel on his head or fucking something <laughs> next to his fucking little Ford. <laughs> with a big rocket on the back of it like, <laughs> did it man <laughs> he ain't coming back yeah <laughs> it's all like taped up with duct tape and but shit but he did it he made it man he fucking made it dude see his flag up there so see where he crashed dude it's fucking nuts I don't know what we call that I don't know <coughs> you know I like that though but that's the premise of it yep and that's like that needs a lot of work because that was that's only one camping trip that one yeah no so. but that's alright that's still <laughs> so that's still good this man. one needs multiple camps. yeah that's one you can't give to Hollywood because Hollywood will fuck that up. Yeah. Big time. Hollywood will make it so like, everyone's getting advanced. Now everyone has superpowers. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not going for superpowers. We're just going for superhumans. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? In our ability to, yeah, yeah. to fucking kick a ball, Functions. jump off shit. To function. Like, yeah, yeah. We're functioning at a higher level. Like just everything is peak. Fucking, like, yeah. I think you could like equate it to, if you had to put it in like a, give perspective, it's like everyone is like the Adesanya. Yeah, yeah. Of MMA. Everyone, whatever the best thing that's is. That's the base level. Everyone's Usain Bolt at running. That, that's base everyone's level. Everyone's fucking, yeah. Base level. Base, son. Kids are running that quick. Maybe that's what the movie could be called. Base level. Base level. Oh, dude, nice, bro. Level base. Level base, base level. The second one's level base. <laughs> 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 super fucking easy <laughs> it's super fucking easy so that's my poor me for poorly formulated uh pitch pitches pitches bruh pitches man piach piach i love them dude yep they're fucking blockbuster hits bruh yep sick the hits son if you said it or he declared it I'm fucking, I'm claiming it. Yeah, well, I checked the Rotten Tomatoes. They're hundreds. So. <laughs> Audience reception. Hey, so. was it, well, I, oh, Audience right. received. Was the critics at zero? Yes. Yes. Killed it. Killed, Killed it. it. We, we Made on, a perfect movie. We on something, No man. one's ever done it. Made a perfect movie with nothing wrong with it. We on some. So let's have a recap yep. for the people at home. Nice, Gary. Yep. Was the first one. First one. Very good. And that could be a series. Could That's not series. really a movie. Or sketches, almost. Skits. Like, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Like a Black Mirror type shit. Yeah, and then you come out, you're like, oh, we got another sketch from that Gary. Oh, Gary I see what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. What's going like on in the way. Gary universe? Yeah, what's going on, man? Yep, so we got that one. The Get Down. The Get Down. Dude discovers, rediscovers fucking music and funk. That sort of shit. And introduces it back to the world. Introduces the world Changes to it. Changes the world, Shane. And he flipped a game on his head, son. Flipped it. <laughs> and then what was your next one the void the void was that the second one yep yeah 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 it was second yep. yeah void then we've got 
Dead Kung Fu. Dead Kung Fu. <laughs> <laughs> Kung Fu Dead. <laughs> yeah, I like it. <laughs> we got that. And then we've got, don't know what that one, what the last one's called. Yeah, no, but I like the last one too. Unnamed. Now, didn't you just come up with a name? But totally copyright. Base level. Base level, bruh. Then we got base level. So we got five. And part two level base. And part. <laughs> <laughs> it's a two part. They had to break it into two. You know how they always do that with the last of the fucking. Now, book or any cone out there telling us, you know. <laughs> When we say, why can't, why do movies suck? Why do they all copy each other? Why can't they think of something? And people tell me there's no uh, actual original ideas. I mean, of course there's going to be tropes. Yes, yes. Like you were saying. Yeah. Can you do a movie without any existing tropes? I think um, it'd be impossible. I think as Every song has drums. You know what I mean? Every, you know what, so like. It, correct. So, but... For originality of an idea, they're yes. still infinite. Yeah. Infinite. Yeah. I agree with that. Yep. Like, we proved it. Yeah. With five. That's infinite. That's five, bro. That's five infinite. That's in five net. It's fucking infinite. You heard the hell I was sent from it. <laughs> <laughs> Murder and instruments, dude. That's what we do here. And so. when I hear the beat. But, um, but five is pretty fucking close to infinite, man. So, right. Like. In how long did this go for? And we've hit you with it's five. It's the next level. We've hit you with five, five. in an hour. Yeah. Throw five them at some fucking script writers, dude. Blockbusters. Yeah. I think we need better kids' movies these days, too. Yeah. You know how good kids' movies were when we were fucking... They were good. They were sick, man. You I haven't seen some them of the for fucking... a long time, so I don't know how much they've sucked now, but... Oh, well, I've rewatched heaps of them, like, with my niece over yep. the years, man. And they're fucking awesome, dude. Really? Some of them are so much... What, the old ones or the new ones? Old ones. Oh, yes, yes, Man, yes. the old ones are sick. Hey, yep. These days, kid movies are pretty much just, like... Well, that's what I was getting at. Disney I'm... and Pixar rule like the, that shit these days. They just I have a monopoly on it because anything that's not like an animated Disney Pixar movie is fucking. You just don't even really know about it. It's not very good. Okay. It sucks. There's no like live action dope kids films these days. But like I remember watching Drop Dead Fred was fucking oh! dope, man. No cobwebs. <laughs> yeah. What's the matter? You're deaf. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I think I would have watched that a thousand yeah. times. Yeah. Hey, snot face. Oh, fucking hell, dude. <laughs> yeah. Like, me and my niece call each other snot face oh, all the time, Oh, that was dude. the fucking one of my all-time like, favorites. It's so good. That's a movie to me that could could get a sequel these days. Could yes. get a remake, sort of. It like, needs it. Yeah. It'd be fucking... They would fuck it up so hard. If they, they would. If they gave us the money to do it, we'd make a fucking dope. Drop Dead Fred would be like a trans... Gender yeah, fucking, dude. <laughs> you know yeah, hundred percent. Uh, and then the person, like that, the imaginary friend is of, is also the same. Doesn't identify as anything. And <laughs> go away. Yeah, and her parents oppress them and fucking. Don't that. you love <laughs> just real quick? So, sex and gender is a myth, to, according to these people, a social construct. Yeah. And then in the next sentence, they'll tell you how they're trapped in a man's body. Yeah. Or trapped in a woman's body. Yeah. Or I identify as a... You just told me. You put yourself in a box. But you just said in the previous sentence... Yeah. That sex is a social contrast... Uh, con construction. Construct, yeah. And it doesn't exist. And then you just used the term you said doesn't exist. And then exist. you just said you're trapped in a man's body. And then you just defined the term. And you're taking exist. fucking hormones to be whatever sex. Yeah. To steer you one way or the other when you say those ways don't exist. So why do you need hormone replacement <laughs> then if it doesn't exist? Yeah. yeah. You don't exist, fuckhead. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry. Drop dead, Fred. <laughs> Drop dead, Fred. What's the matter, you deaf? <laughs> Snot face. Oi. I'm, I'm saying this for my little nephew. He, he fucking fly, answers me back straight away. I say, hey. Bro, I won't say his name because it's for <laughs> fucking confidential. Bruh. But say, hey, bruh, sticking feathers up your butt. And he'll say to me, doesn't make you a chicken. <laughs> I say, you make sure. Yeah, boy. Anyone talk that shit to you, that's what you tell him, man. Yeah, hell yeah. That's funny as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've just lost my babysitting rights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but with those movies, you'll be real rich. You'll get them back, bro. Yes, yeah, sir. like, looks really successful. You see his scripts, man? <laughs> he's that looks that doing good, man. I think he's then. good. I think he's back uh, on the list. You get okay, it's all right. <laughs> but even movies like Labyrinth, dude. Ah. I want a movie like that these days that's like all like 
no CGI, you know, like it's all the dudes in costumes that look real as fuck. It looks creepy. There was like this weird. It's more creep, isn't it? There was more grittiness to it. It was Way there more was a creep. creep factor to those. Way more creep. But I think it was fucking awesome, dude. dude. I loved it. My niece loves those movies. Any movie that's got like this weird fucking creep factor about, to it, um, she's obsessed with it. Like she's like, that's my shit. Another one that had the creep because of that uh, never ending story. That's the next one I was gonna say, bro. That's the next one I was gonna say. Like, those types of movies were just top-tier fucking movies, The rock man. fucking people and that. And, like, do you remember fucking when he, like, his horse dies, bro? His horse gets just sucked into, like, sinking mud. And it's, like, a pretty tragic scene, man. Yeah, you don't get that tragedy. Nah, yeah. they, like, hold this scene for a minute. They don't skip over it. You just slowly... No, you're gonna cry. You're gonna cry. You're gonna watch this horse just go in as this one kid's crying, trying to pull his horse out of the fucking mud. This is designed to torment you. And the horse doesn't live. You know, it's not like these days the horse goes under, oh, blah, blah, and then just like you turn around and it like pops yeah. it out of the, Nothing behind matters. the tree or something. And all oh, the mud just laid over behind the tree. Oh, so all of that oh cool. Mattered. Yeah, yeah. Cool. We didn't actually you go through any hardship. took the meaning hardship. out of yeah. all of that. But those movies were fucking sick, dude. Right. And like, they were just like so, like, um, storytelling. So much imagination and creativity yeah. in it, man. Like, I remember that when he sees like those little tiny fucking the old couple. Yes, yeah. That like help him out and shit. Yep, and yep. All that is just so trippy, dude. Yep. It's so strange, man. Yeah. Then there's the big statues with the fucking like the glowing eyes or whatever. And you're like, all this has to come out of an acid trip, surely. Dude. Like, same as like Dark Crystal. I don't know how someone <laughs> just writes that shit. This, that it has to come out of taking dude. acid or something. It had like it just these absolute bizarre tales that just like can mold the imaginations of children man and that doesn't exist anymore like i reckon it'd be so dope to like make fucking kids films that are fucking fucking legit movies again man fucking that, i'm with you yeah that'd just be sick as hell dude. i'm with you man that'd be sick and i agree there has to be some kind of you have to previously done acid or because <laughs> like gary Otherwise you're not coming in the writing room nah gary comes from flashbacks 100 <laughs> percent. gary's a flashback show if I, really. if I didn't do acid in my teens i would have never conceptualized that gary wouldn't exist man wouldn't. we wouldn't have all those fucking red mullets bro. bro those red mullets wouldn't be as as fucking it gives you a different perspective man <laughs> yeah. on things <laughs> It's, it's a prerequisite. <laughs> yeah. I never watched... There was a Dark Crystal second show that came out. I haven't seen it either. I haven't watched it either. But was, it actually looked pretty dope. because it, it did. Didn't, it didn't look like there was CGI. It, looked it was still puppet, puppets, man. And it looked mystical as fuck, man. Like, it looked like it was fucking some... Like that was scary. It when looked you were mystical, kid, eh? man. Did that scare you? Yeah, dude. Labyrinth scared me. Oh, man. bro, Labyrinth. I think out of all of them, Labyrinth was the fucking one that fucked yeah. me up. David Bowie, man. Yeah. Well, for me, it was him. It wasn't David Bowie I was for me. I terrified of him. I was scared of like, uh, it might have been those little goblin fucking yeah. things. It might have been that first scene when they first take the girl's little brother, and it's like <laughs> lightning, and then like the doors are opening and flapping, and it's just the lights are flashing on and off. That done in real life, seem it's just so much more effective than CGI. Yeah. Goblin coming in and fucking taking yep. a fake CGI baby. Jesus. These little dudes look like you could see the boils on their face and fucking... Disgusting. Even in Dark Crystal, like those crow fucking oh. eagles. You're like, man, that looked like... If you saw that in real life, you would freak the fuck oh, out, man. Bro, like, that's the sort of shit that... um, That's in my... Personally, in my nightmares, that's what things look like. Yeah. Like in my nightmare yeah. nightmares. They're all distorted and like yeah. that, man. Yeah. But I think that's how they made those movies so fucking good. Because like, I think they do come from... Like, just personally, I think they do come from, like, acid trips and shit like oh, that. Oh, dude. And, like, you can really connect to, like, that sort of scary shit. Just, like, the elements of what's really scary or what's really creative, like... And you can just really emphasize those to the max. And have your movie go from this really dark, terrifying creepiness to over the next scenes, like, this majestic... Like, they're in this fucking, like, forest where there's fucking waterfalls and mist. And you're like, this looks so fucking dope, man. It's just so much. It's just everything pushed to the extreme of fucking, like that mystical fuckingness man and it's just your imagination goes wild with that it was so much better and those movies you can put on today kids will watch them 100 percent. yeah kids don't have any idea of like that cgi looks bad they just they love them way more man yeah my niece has watched even just the wizard of oz man. oh dude a million fucking times she's watched the old willy wonka and the chocolate factory man i have no idea what year have that movie came out her, um bed knobs and broomsticks no you showed her that. that's cool no. man yeah that's a cool one yeah all right sick because they end off in the... It's so well done for the day. It's like such an old movie. 
And then the end, like the last half of it or quarter of it, is um, they end off in like a cartoon world and they got oh, to wow. have this soccer tournament. Yeah, cool. And it's like real people playing these cartoons. And it's from Real Space fu- Jam type fucking. Yeah, but it's from way back in the day, and it, it was done so good, man. Yeah, that's crazy. What's the other one um, that's mixed with people and fucking Roger Rabbit? That man. one, man. Fucking, yeah. that was one of my all-time favorite movies, man. I reckon for like people interacting with cartoons, that shits on Space Jam. That's fuck. Oh, way. W- it shits on Space way Jam. Way more, man. Like it, like looks hell real. Heaps. Of it looks there. fucking. It holds up. Like yeah, holds up. It man. still holds up. But heaps of those old movies do hold up to these day. To this fucking day man like they're just so much better i can watch them over and like over like you said the um i think a huge bit of it is just the creativeness of yeah it. the originality yes just like it's not fucking it's not trying to take every best bit from every popular yes. movie and jam it into one it's just trying to make its own fucking thing because what they do these days is they'll just take all the tropes the good doing. Bits, and just put it together and like that's it's a and formula you're supposed to enjoy it it's a formula for a movie in the same way they make pop music these See, days I it's just a formula oh yes yes it it's w- a certain amount of bars you gotta rise here and you gotta drop here and have the chorus here with a certain amount of harmony it's just all a fucking formula to these and we movies. gotta put the auto tune on yeah you gotta have sound like that did you ever see um fuck, what was it called? indian in the cupboard bro we used to have to watch that at school oh really yeah 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 that was a school one we had to watch like man. um that I, was cool dude i loved that as a kid yeah Even man. my niece watched the shit out of that she was yep. like this is fucking like this is dope dude yep fucking sick movie yeah, that's the one that's got the little things in it has it got little fucking is there some midget type fucking yeah because it's like the boy has this cupboard thing with this special fucking key and he's like sick as fuck he's like, i'm gonna put my little toy fucking and aren't they pommy kids here. no, no i don't think not. he is nah okay, yeah. i think he's a little of a man i think he's that. american well, he's got the fucking huge teeth i remember having just giant fucking teeth but <laughs> come on choppers he puts his little he's got this little indian toy his mate gives him a toy of this little indian guy and he puts it in the uh in the cupboard and when he twists the key and unlo- opens the cupboard the toy's alive it's a little person oh uh, yep yep and then like the whole movie's him with this fucking like indian dude sick and yep. then like um but it's like again it's like real there's like another one of the toys like comes to life and dies at one point and so like the kid has to deal with fucking like this thing dying yeah and for like, it's like it's way more real man yeah and fucking the way that i remember the way the little indian dude react always i was like whoa man as i was an adult watching it with my niece he's like um he's like you don't see dead people like people don't die around here and the kid's like fucking freaking out he's like people die we just don't see it He's like, we just don't see that. And then the Indian dude's got no idea what he's talking about. So he's like, what do you mean you don't see people dying? He's like, people die every day. And then I was just like, man, that is hell weird that people literally die every single day in like the millions or something or in the thousands and you never see dead people anywhere. The world never used to be like that. People die. They just die in front of you, like yeah. you know. And then you had to bury grandpa. Yeah. These days it's like you don't, they're just gone. Yeah, I think I've seen three dead bodies in my whole life, yeah. man. It's like, I would just, I'd never thought about it. I was like, whoa, yeah. That is weird to think that people are dying everywhere and you just don't see any, see de- you don't see any fucking Where dead people. They? Where are they, man? Where are they, man? <laughs> I believe you, man. Yeah, I believe you, man. I, see, I don't even think people die anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think we live, prove it, man. What was the one with um another sick one <sighs> was um the eyebrows on him. <laughs> uh, the robot. It's old age. Short circuit. Is that what it is? And he's on like um He's on like tracks? Yes, Dude, I was just yeah. about to say yeah, he's on yeah. like I remember tracks. that, man. That was sick. I remember watching that with my mum when I was she loved that. That was fucking awesome. That was killer. There's a few of those too. And I what think. was the one? Yes. And what was the one short second? <laughs> it's sort of like time. That was game. Like, he got his emotion from his eyebrows right, like you were yeah. like, <laughs> yes. oh, oh, he's sad, man. He's sad. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> that was sick. Um what about the one where they had like the like the little flying mechanical things? Uh, something in the, in that something about the attic. Isn't it called something attic? What was it about? It's like these little mechanical flying aliens. And it's ages ago, but it looks so fucking crazy, man. Oh, I can't remember. One I, I remember, so- man, that I hell liked as a kid. Did you ever see Small Soldiers? Small Soldiers? Yeah, I think it was called Small Soldiers, man. This was such a dope film when I was a kid, man. Uh, it would probably look terrible today if you were. It looked like people holding. Is that with toys. all these toys coming alive? Yes, man. And they fight each other. Yes. 
And it's like you got the commando toys yeah, that were like the bad yeah, guys. Yes, yes. And then like his was like all the ugly monster looking dudes. They were like the good guys. Yeah, that was The name was like a dog type of fucking thing. Yep. And they were versing all these commandos and I shit. I don't remember heaps, but I just... I just remember my friend premise. had the actual toys from that movie. He had like the dog and the commando and the like the dog thing. Oh, it was like a dog type of fucking thing. He had like the bow and arrow and shit. And I just remember that was fuck. I was like, man, that is dope. But that's a killer fucking premise for a movie. They probably stole it from Toy Story. They're like, what if fucking... These things just fought each other. <laughs> what was first? I don't know. Toy Story's pretty old, though. It is. What year is Toy Story? What's the, you got Google? What's the original? What do you guess? I'm going to guess 96. I'm going to guess the year I was born. I'll say... I think 2000. 2000? 99. I'll go 99. Oh, 95, bro. Wow! We're both over if we're doing... No, but you're closer. But if we're doing prices right, we'd both lose. Because no. you can't go over, I don't think. Yeah, but you can... <laughs> yeah, you win, though. It's close to Yeah, me. I'll take it. 95, though. Wow. Yeah. Well, let's see when fucking Small Soldiers came out. 98. Wow! Fuck. I didn't know Toy Story was that OG. Yeah, well, dude, if you go watch it compared to, like, the newer ones, you can see it. Okay. You're like, oh, this doesn't look good. Because that blew my fucking brain. Yeah. That was, like, the pinnacle, But man. that's the one, eh? Yes, that's yes, it. Dude, yeah, yes, the it. army dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's cool. But, um... Uh, I forgot what no, I was but saying, but... The way they talk and shit, and it was, like, full... He's like a proper, proper commando, yeah, eh? Yeah, like busts out of his fucking But packet. the way he talks in tactics and yes, fucking... yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. oh, was cool, it was cool, man. Yeah, and all of the bad guys were like commando dudes with just the spiky hair and muscles. Yeah, it was sick. Driving like little quads and yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, I loved and it. And fuck up the people somehow. Yeah, because they're the bad guys, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Because I can't remember how it Don't happened. the parents get involved in the end Yeah, and shit? I think all neighbours and everyone, because like these things are like shooting nets at people. Yeah, like, that's right. Like, wrapping them up and shit. <laughs> <laughs> There's just this big battle between the toys. Like one of the toys gets crushed, I think, at one point. Like, <laughs> yeah, I wonder what like the equivalent for kids is now. Like, what's their shit? That's fucking. Well, like, I just amazing. don't see many live action ones. It's mainly just Disney and Pixar. Well, you never heard of Turtle Man? Hey, live hey. action. <laughs> 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 but most of it is just I reckon Disney and Pixar. That's the problem then. That's right. I mean, they got a monopoly on the kids market. That's the creative. Um, yeah. Vice. We need to bring back that labyrinth shit, dude. That never-ending story. Yeah, well, you need to, like, um, not monopolize industries, man. Yeah. You know, that's how... That sucks. This sucks to create it. Because you've got, like, your six writers that are writing everything. Yeah, yeah. And they can't even write one good thing. Yeah. And you're letting them write the script for everything. Yeah, and it's all in the same formula. Same formula, fucking princess. Fuck the princess, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck her. Fuck it. And her fucking Well, nowadays tower. the princess becomes the hero. Uh, yeah. That's she, the formula these days. Just for being a princess. Yeah. Yeah. The Drinker did a uh, review on... Uh, the Squid Game? Did you see that? No. He did a review, but it was funny because he's like... He's did like, he like it? Yeah, he liked it. He had like one problem with it, which is pretty much a similar problem I had. I'd, I didn't really say because you haven't seen it yet, but it was just like something in the way it was sort of ended, which is like, I'm okay with it. But it oh, just... no, you did say. Oh, okay. Yeah, you did. Yeah, it was just a little bit like, yeah. But um, he had a pretty similar issue, but it, it's funny because... Hey, drink it, man. Something I didn't even uh, notice, I guess because when something is so good and like normal true to reality you don't like start picking things out you're like oh that's just the way it is so i don't like even notice it really and something he pointed out he's like man it was so good to see he's like women in this film he's like be treated the way they would in that scenario in real life he's like they're not as strong as the men they can't and a lot of the times the men see them as a liability because like some of these games can be about strength like the tug of war and so they're like no we don't want girls on our team sort of thing and then like they're not they're just not fucking they're not mary sues you know what i'm saying Sick. They're, not, they're not ray skywalkers that can fucking accomplish everything Sick. and fucking because i actually thought that that was going to be happen with the pickpocket lady yeah I thought she was going to be the Mary Sue of the whole thing. Yeah, no, nah, well, that doesn't happen. Sick! Yeah. She doesn't even make it through the fucking... Oh, you know, like, fucking yeah. awesome, man. Because uh, I was like, oh, man, I didn't even think of that. Because it was like, uh, you know, I notice it when that doesn't happen. Yes. Where I notice the Mary Sue shit. You yep. know what I'm saying? Because it's not... Like, that's not what... Like, yeah. 
You what didn't is, even notice. What's going on here? Yeah, I didn't even notice the other stuff because I'm like, well, that's just like, it's. it was so yeah. accurate and believable to yeah. me. But I wasn't like, didn't oh, have that's a bad what... taste in yeah. your mouth. I was just like, man, that's fucking, I like when he points that sort of shit out. A bad taste in his mouth. Yeah. Well, you got to stop using your bum finger <laughs> to, to pull food out yeah, your teeth. Yeah, stop brushing your teeth with that motherfucking. <laughs> yeah. your bum finger, man. Yeah. <laughs> Always taste the same. <laughs> it's fucking annoying, Hold man. On. I've changed toothpastes about 30 times. Hold on. <laughs> it doesn't work. Sally? <laughs> <laughs> Sally or Tracy, man. I don't know. <laughs> Some bitch shit on my finger, man. Fucking hell. <laughs> Fuck crazy Sick. bitches. Must have yeah. sat on my finger when I was asleep. <laughs> it's all that could have happened, man. It's the only way that went down. You know it, man. I don't do that. I've told people. <laughs> only if invited. And I get straight out when she tells me. Yeah. Get out. Okay. Man. <laughs> 60% of the time. Wait, okay. It works every time. <laughs> every time. <laughs> Sick. Well, fuck, man. Let's send this over to fucking Spinkelstein, yeah, Spielberg, all, fucking. All them motherfuckers, man. Scorsese, Tarantino. All send of it them, to man. all of them, man. Yeah, you just can fight over it. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. That's a Royal Rumble. Hey, you bid your pitch to us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What you can bring. You have to bring something to the table for us. What you can add and bring to it. You're selling yourself now. Basically. Because yeah. all the ideas are <laughs> oh, We got them up here. We got them up here, but uh, Yeah. You can listen to the podcast. And back. we've copyrighted <laughs> it. To the world. Yeah. Officially. Officially. We yeah. officially copyrighted every all, all of our ideas. Yeah. yeah. 100%. Yep. Yep. We have creative control. Yep. Yep. Basically, I've got OC one that I won't talk about because we've gone ages, but I've got yep. another movie with my nephew. And it's like a soup because he's in superhero shit. But I've tried, like, I've tried to greed it up a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your premise. And <laughs> but there was one bit. He's like, he was asking shit. me one camping trip. He's like, we're expanding on, and he goes, so who are we gonna get to like play this character and this one and this one? And I'd start a name of people, and then he said, oh, because he's about. 11, 12, something yeah. like that. He's like a terrible choice. Like. No, he goes. <laughs> his his thing was. His problem was, oh, that's that's not very inclusive. And I said, we're not doing that here, Sam. <laughs> we're picking the best actor. We're picking the child. best motherfucker for the role. Yeah. And, he, and I seen him think, and he goes, yeah, that makes sense. You know, I was like, yeah. Shit. So obviously at school, he's been told all this crap. Keep it inclusive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, one time, one day I got in the car and they the just- Quality of opportunity is what- we should strive for one day they got into the, yes not outcome opportunity opportunity outcomes determined by fucking skill determination yeah i'm effort. putting this out there because i didn't get to say you know when you get out and days later you think, oh, fuck, i should have said that yeah i got in the car Let's one clarify day the shit. got in the car one day and they said to me you know the red kangaroo you know it's called the red kangaroo well it's only you know only the male is red the female isn't even red <laughs> You know what I should have said? Have you ever heard of Mother Earth, motherfucker? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nature's called Mother Nature. Yeah. So you want to, like, nitpick the whole system is named after a female. Yeah. You know? What's up? So Trump that, motherfucker. <laughs> we're trying to change. We're petitioning to change mo the name Mother Earth. <laughs> what we're doing. Yes. <laughs> it's got to be They Be Earth. <laughs> <laughs> or from fucking Monday to Wednesday. It's they, them, earth. <laughs> yeah, they, them. Yeah, man. They, them. Yeah. <laughs> and Sunday can be Father Earth and Sunday's Mother Earth. Yep. Half a day. Half a day. Fathers get half. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> every, every second every, weekend. <laughs> and you have to pay for it. <laughs> you have to pay for it. <laughs> if you get a good judge. Yeah. That is. That's best case scenario. Yeah. <laughs> yeah fucking equality. <laughs> Sick, thanks. Fucking don't steal our ideas. Yeah. Tell us some of yours. We'll be back with more. I reckon. Yeah. Fuck. Some fucking more crazy ones, dude. Bruh. Yeah. Dude. Wait. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Yeah, Fuck. If, hey, you want them? We got them. Yeah. Well, we've written five blockbusters, so I don't even know if. We might be a bit busy. I don't even know if next year can produce that many movies. I don't think so. Is there that time enough time in a year? We pretty much that's five years worth of movies we got. 
if it's coming from the one studio. Or we need to do some Shaw Brothers shit and just hire a bunch of motherfuckers, get them all going at the same time. Yeah, but I also, you've made me think that I think we would have crossover characters. Like, there'd be certain people. Go, yeah. Oh, he'd be good to play that. Oh, but he'd be good to play that. Oh, we're going actors to... or characters to where like it's... actors. Yeah, yeah, I like that. That's fine. Totally cool with that. Doesn't matter. You know how many fucking Jackie Chan's in that many movies? Yeah, man. That are pretty. You know, like the same movie. You know, we would want. And then the people... dubs get so lazy where they don't even give him a character name. They're like, call him Jackie. Oh. The English dub. They're like, hey Jackie. <laughs> like, come on, man. At least call him Tom or some yeah, shit. Fucking <laughs> hell, man. So he don't even get a fake name. No, nah, sometimes it's just he's just Jackie. And you're like, okay, fucking, we're really fucking. Well, there you go, kids. Effort. Go ask your teacher about that, son. <laughs> yeah, it's not quality. Fuck. Fuck yeah, dude. Peace out, dog. Peace out, man. <laughs> Legend. See you later. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it.